continue on. This has been an interesting playthrough because it's forcing me to play in a way that I usually don't, uh, which has been fun, but it has been dangerous. We have had lots and lots of hard times. Uh, we've had we've had one main death. We've also had many people on death's door. So we've had lots of people within like one. We had a couple people within one hour dying, some within three. Um, we've had some really scary times. I was trying to play too low wealth. And I was like, all right, I won't make SMGs. I'll just wait for us to get some pirate raids and then we'll kill them and we'll take their SMGs. That's what we did in the Igor run, but he's always attacking. What does Randy do? He doesn't send any, any pirates. He just sends friggin' mechs and animals, mechs and animals. So we are under geared and they roll in and they're just wrecking us. So um, we've also had some times that we had to, we had to save people and we almost died. We also lost other people to that. So it's uh, it's been a mess, but uh, we have continued on surviving. We're actually up to 10 colonists, which I don't really want. Um, about five of these are pretty decent. The rest I don't really want, uh, but we have to take them because they want it in. So. Today, we have a few things on the agenda that I would like to do. We did actually get up to SMGs, flak vests, and simple helmets. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. So today, I would like to get some more uh, high-tech research benches. And I would like to just knock out ship research while we trade animals and try to survive. We're at right at 50,000 wealth. Right at 50,000 wealth. Plus, we keep getting the adaption factor because we keep getting people downed. <laughs> so soon mechanized animals so raids are, are manageable at the moment so that's our goal right now is to trade for components and because we've kind of mined out the access accessible ones easily accessible ones on the map trade for components and uh and get research done and then survive whatever comes so try to think if you meant don't research yourself to only play it like you described that's not what his comment says. And also, it's clear that he didn't watch the video, Pygon, because in the video, multiple times, in the early part, and then reiterated in the late part, it literally says, play however you want. Wealth management is just one way to play. If it's not fun for you, don't you don't have to do it. It literally says that in the video, in the early part, and the late part. So I know good and well they did not watch the video. So it's nice to give them the benefit of the doubt, but they made that comment without without watching the video, so. You can't hear from the Bobby Raid? It's already been seven months. It has been, Blim. Yeah, thank you for sticking around for that long. It's uh, it's unusual for people, for you to get people to stay and become regulars after a raid, so it means a lot that uh, many from the Panda Raid have stayed. So thank you, Blim. Hugs on, welcome in. Tio. Or for flak helmets. Uh, Yeah, I, I hardly ever go for flak helmets. And it's because, yeah, that's that's the main reason. Um, if we get them to buy, we'll buy them, but I'm, I'm not making them at the moment. They are better though, obviously. This is one of your favorite maps that you played on. Did you uh, check out the mountain? I, I'm not gonna make a mountain base in this one, but did you check out the mountain to see if it was, uh, it was a good one? Does unharvested crops count as wealth? They do not. That isn't one that we talked about. Unharvested crops. Unharvested crops, we forgot. Roofs, bio-coated weapons, none of those count as wealth. So, modest reseller that makes threats scale off time. There is, uh, like like Smurf said, you go into uh, your options, storyteller settings at any time, and then you click custom, and then down the bottom, there's wealth independent mode, which only sc scrolls or uh, scales off of time, and and of course whatever percentage difficulty you're playing on. It's mostly solid, has two ancient dangers. Yeah, this is a this is a really nice map then. The only downside to the map really, aside from uh, Aaron Shrublands on all right place in, in general. But the real downside is the animatry placement. But if you don't mind not using the animatry, it's good. Can you pat the boom up? Yeah, just not too not too hard. Alright, we don't have to do this one. Activate a site nearby to rash you. There's a toxic spear machine. Playing the whole point. Also, two mechanoids are sleeping. So we could knock that one out. But we have talks that fall out during. We don't have a lot of food stockpiled. And the rewards aren't really something that we're too interested in. So, thanks, Arn. If you're doing well, too. Who's Panda? Um, Panda is Admiral Barua. He's the, like, 23rd biggest streamer on the platform or something. And I only know that because it was posted on Twitter recently. 
So he averages like 10,000 people and uh, he watches the stream. Uh, he sometimes types in here and then he raided me like seven months ago and I couldn't believe it. He raided me like six or 7,000 people. Uh, if you leave Ancient Dangers in the Mountain, do they count as player structures for infestation purposes? So if you can see them and they're under Overhead Mountain, I believe infestations can spawn in them. I'm not, um, because... When, once you claim, or not even claim, once you see inside of Ancient Danger, all the stuff inside of it that isn't like a claimable thing automatically count as yours. So like the floors and stuff inside, all that immediately counts as yours. So I'm, I'm pretty sure infestations can happen there, but only if you can see in it. Alf, welcome in, thank you for the bit. Martos, no pandas here. Just that nice gentleman with the mustache and the glasses. Sit, thank you for the seven months. Thank you, Sit. Seven months already, man. Thank you, Sit. Phoenix, good to see you. Incredible, JXM. Thank you, thank you. Alrighty. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sun. Uh, those two horses, we're gonna wait until they get here at night, and then we'll rope them, bring them in, and then we're gonna go trade for some components. Uh, Martos, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you for using that here too. Counts same as a tier one, so very much appreciated. Lurking much got cookies to bake, chores to knock out. Thank you for the Lurk Phoenix. All right, um, let's clear the animal zone from in here too. This is a newer structure. Thought about the zombie mod, saw. I haven't really done any overhaul mods in a long time. I'm thinking about it. I actually have another uh, shorter run that I want to do now that I I had this thought last night actually while I was eating. I don't know why I had it, but uh, Nigel, thank you for the 100 bits. How does the guilty meme affect gameplay? Uh, it means that it does affect it quite a bit because charity is required. Oops. And it's pretty hard hitting. So charity essential. So for instance, if we get a quest uh, and someone needs help and we don't help them, we get a minus eight mood debuff. There's some that are minus 12. Like it, it's really, it's really rough. So when does the cocaine start? Uh, never. We're not allowed. To, we're not allowed to have drugs in this run. Unfortunately, we're good guys. Good guys don't do cocaine. Come on. Um, thinking about your ancient danger, they're in the mountain, so I, I'm not sure if I'm going to try to find them yet or not. And the good guy's hard, yep. So the extra run I'm thinking about doing is there are some cheeses and exploits in the game that I don't do, but that I know of, and I tell people how to do them, but I don't do them myself, usually. There's some that I will never do. I'm actually thinking about doing a run where I give my per myself permission in the run to literally do every exploit and cheese that I know of in the game and combine it with a really hard meme to kind of balance it out. I'm talking about something like blind nudist, blind nudist in extreme desert, but give myself the ability to do as much cheese and exploiting as I want and, and show you that run and how stupid you can, you can make things in RimWorlds. So I, I'm probably gonna do that one at some point. Blind nudist corner punchers, that's right. And the awful people in the chat, look how how many of you are doing on this awful day. You can say anything if you put a kappa behind it. Holy crap. Let's go now. <laughs> uh they fixed the royal cheese one. A new subscriber. Come steal yourself. We are uh, candy. An army. Candy. Do you go by nay or candy, by the way? Uh, can you thank you for the three gift subs to CJ, to Ganja, and to Mystic Mouse? Thank you, Candy. Royal cheese. They fixed the overheating royals to steal their their stuff. Yeah, unfortunately. But there's there's lots of other exploits in the game. So I'm thinking about doing that run as well. Um, come on, horses, are you coming to sleep? I'm gonna let them go get them. Oh, and uh, iced tea is not converted yet, so I gotta keep working on that. There we go. Did they fix the chicken trade caravan cheese? Are you are you talking about where you make it so they can't leave because of their the animals, and so they will stay until they pass out? That one they also fixed. 
Just learned today, you can do a flat map and ensure that all sappers and breachers and all standard raids attack from the same direction. Oh, what, uh, what way did you, what cheese did you find out? Or what did you find out to do that? How did you find out to do that? Are you talking about, um, putting like chunks near the edge of all the edges with a caravan trick or candy ordinary? Plus, are you holding an SMG cheese? <laughs> Maybe. Sweating everything the storyteller throws at you. Um, kind of, but there are some real, like, exploits that, like, you can literally attack enemies with no consequence, no fear of getting hurt. You can, you can kill a hundred centipedes with jade knives. There is, there is a exploit in the game that you can kill a hundred centipedes with jade knives. So, things like that, I don't do. Like, I don't let myself do. I don't care if you do it. But I don't do it in my playthroughs. But I'm thinking about doing a super cheesy playthrough just to show all these things. Alright, we're going to grab these two horses and then we're going to go out and trade. Chunks of the edge. Edge walking pawns. Edge of the map. On roof, unblock squares. If you block all but one spot, there they arrive. How do you do that? Alright, I'll show. I'm not going to do it, but I'll, I'll show. So if you have a door here, if you build a door here and you hold it open, units can attack from here to this door without being able to be attacked back unless they're sappers or breachers. But without being able to be attacked back, they will attack through this. You can stack any out of combat unit that can melee there, tons of them. So what you do, there's a couple things. You set up a zone here a single tile zone. You set all your animals that are trained to attack to that zone. You put all of your um, colonists into that zone. You put their work schedule on all works. So they're not falling asleep standing there. And then you put it on to attack. And uh, the reason I say Jade Knife is because knives attack very fast. So they stun lock enemies from moving. And if a couple of them have Jade Knives, you can literally attack through the wall and kill everything without them being able to attack back. So it's stuff like that that I don't use in my normal playthroughs. And there's other exploits as well. Quite a few other exploits that I don't use in mine. But I'm thinking about at some point doing a short run that's just like the cheesiest run I could possibly do. Um, instead of making like guides on each one, just doing a super cheesy run and being like, here you go. Jade Knife is uncraftable. Um, I, I don't remember, but I know you start with one as, uh, as tribal, I believe. Tasty cheese. That's going, Finks. Thing was learning for like Igor. If the enemy had mined out the top of the map, don't open that up. It's a red mountain because that's roofed. Oh, that's interesting. If it's roofed, yeah. If it's roofed, um, I think there was an actual opening up there though, like a open the sky to the edge of the map. But yeah, if it's overhead mountain to the edge, things can't spawn in from overhead mountain to the edge. It's going, John. Watch on YouTube, finally catch a stream, that's awesome. Uh, YouTube is about three months behind, Bob, if you're wondering what run this is. So it is uh, it is pretty behind, but thank you for coming over. It's much appreciated, of course. <laughs> All right, let's grab the other one. And as soon as we get that back, we're gonna go trade. The jail is very comfortable. What? It's filled, filled with roses. It has a double bed. Yeah, but knives in general is what I mean. I don't know why I said uh, jade. I guess because I'm used to starting with that jade knife with tribal. Or whoever starts with it, but... Uh, a knife, basically. Lawful good run, yeah. Can your pawns actually caravan off the map from overhead mountain edge? I don't know. Would be fun for all those people not knowing that you're doing coming and being like, I thought you never used that cheese. Yeah. Oh, I have so many that I would use in that run like that. Yeah. Yeah, L, I know. People tell me on YouTube that I'm lazy. They have no idea what I what I do. I have no like 99% of my life is scheduled. And then I have people coming in the YouTube comments like, look at this lazy guy. Three months behind, and he doesn't even edit down the videos. It's like, all right, just go back to your your hole. I know you're not. Maybe you are posting that on there. L, is that you? <laughs> fast craftable, fast jade, uranium, high CPS. 
yeah, it's it's a, it's not even about DPS. It doesn't matter DPS at all. It's the attack speed. So whichever one attacks fastest can melee lock people really easy. So. No animatry this run. Nope. It's going 86. Too lazy to post comments like that. <laughs> all right, it's trade time. All right. Um, so we're gonna send Shizbob. We're mainly going to get, or to try to get. Um, I might even bring a horse back with us, honestly. Uh, we're mainly trying to get components, and. I mean, if they have like a good weapon or something, if we have enough, we'll grab that too. Yeah, they're going to, but never know. Also, yesterday we had an off-map problem causer, so we had to deal with that, which was interesting. We had two infestations yesterday, which was uh, pretty scary. One of them got through because of a a um, breakdown. <laughs> oh, it says hoedowns and. Buy his stuff, please. <laughs> Let's go, Nelly. <laughs> How do you miss all the infestations? I don't know. We had two right here. Uh, we almost had some people die to the second one. The first one, we had uh, Empire traders here, so we were able to pull the bugs over there and fight with them. And in fact, one of the Empire traders died, so we had a we had a burial over here for them. Our modest fellowship expands. Something else I want to try Raise is to see up. if I can make it so breachers aren't going to come through here due to a um, due to a pin. I need to try that. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to test it. Guy who likes to make comments like that. So you live under. Oh, I oh I have a I figured something out. It doesn't bother me at all, but I did figure something out with YouTube just by coincidence. Uh, Murderous Bob, thank you for the subscription. Thank you, Bob. Are you related, Sideshow Bob? Probably get that a lot. Thank you. Let's go whenever. So, for a long time now, every single time I put up a video, within minutes, it has one thumbs down. Every video, within just a couple minutes. And that's good, actually, because as far as YouTube is concerned, any interaction, any interaction pushes it in the algorithm. You could literally, literally have 100 thumbs down as soon as the video comes out, and it would push it because of how much it's been being interacted with. That's all I care about. That's one of the things I should say. So for a long time, I, and I've commented on it being funny, I get a single thumbs down. I didn't realize in my video statistics, it tells you where they clicked on the video from in order to thumbs it down in the advanced analytics. I just happened to find that yesterday. There is someone that has a playlist that automatically adds new subscriber videos to it from certain channels and the playlist is a racial slur. It's the N-word. And they have a list of, of channels on there where they get alerted onto their playlist as soon as that channel posts a video and then they immediately thumbs it down. This person is insane and they've been doing that for like a year. What, what, how do you have time for that much hate? It's ridiculous. But the reason I noticed is I was looking, so I just recently started putting shorts up. I just started posting my shorts. Next is bath water. But anyway, I just started posting YouTube shorts. And so I was clicking on the analytics, advanced analytics to see if it had been shown on the short shelf, which is basically the shelf through phones. And so I clicked on that and I noticed that there was one video view with one down like within the first five minutes from a playlist that started with the N word. And I was like, what the crap? So there are some crazy people out there. Apparently they're never too busy for hate, yeah. You're actually slightly impressed. You're mad at them for racism, but slightly impressed with the dedication. Yeah. Yeah, and they, it's pro they probably have a bot that does it and that's just how they gather the videos easily to do so so i when i saw it though i was like what i saw that there was a playlist with the n-word as a title and that my video had been clicked there and down downloaded within the first five minutes so the n-word nutrient paste i will no it's not that does remind me sometimes including yesterday people will come to the channel and ask about nutrient paste and they they abbreviate it nut paste 
So someone was here yesterday and there was like, what's the benefit of nut paste? And I was like, well, without it, humans wouldn't exist. <laughs> no. uh, careful what you abbreviate. You wonder what other kind of content they obsessively downvote? I looked at the playlist. I looked at the playlist. Most of it's video game stuff. Wow, wow. It's not a good. Hey, we got some cougars on the map, but we realized we can't really tame them. Uh, so it doesn't really help us too much. All right. And so I'm going to let you actually go get these. Heard it's using a lot of cosmetics. All right, let's trade here. I think I might actually uh, keep one of these horses. So. We got some good armor, though. I'm really thinking about just trading for helmets instead of making our own. And we're going to need a lot of advanced components eventually. Uh, all right. So we'll trade all this aside from the pregnant horse. And then we will grab components. Uh, is that all I'm going to grab? I should probably grab a little bit of medicine. We don't have any. Still no lungs, huh? Still no lungs. Um, do I want to grab the advanced components now? The component, I think I'm just going to knock out research. It's one of my big goals today. So I'm going to grab uh, quite a few components. We'll grab 20 and then a few medicine. Okay. That'll be good. And we'll keep that one horse so we can make this uh, trip much faster. How long has it taken him to get there? Like a half day on a horse, pregnant horse. So made enough. Pizza. Oh yeah, thank you, Pinks. I don't mind. As no pineapple would remove the mood buff from nutrient paste. That's right. <laughs> Research and survival stream. Been watching YouTube and now starting the flute run. How far are you to catch you on your last run on Twitch? Three months. YouTube is three months behind. So that that fluid ideology run, that one's been done for like three months. Uh, we've done probably like six other runs since then. I'm working on getting it caught up, but it's going to take some time. Um, so that's where it's at at the moment. Miracle analysis class always got abbreviated as numb anal. Was kind of deliberate because of. It's worth the wait. It's the, the beginning of that run is so crazy. Episode four went up this morning though. For anyone that's been waiting on the new next episode, so episode four went up. I could tame them with making stuff out of the milk. Yep. Yeah. Our modest like camel milk. Expands. Praise the. And then they have to keep themselves fed on the map by hunting. So we we. Might, might do that. Let's go to Optimize. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you, Optimize. Counts name as a tier one sub. Very much appreciated. Shiz is napping. We might even make him a. Um... Oh yeah, we. Oh yeah, we we can do that. Let's make him a bedroll to start taking with him on these. Cause we're good guys. He gets to sleep on a bedroll. It's fine. Yeah, we have SMGs now. We got flak vests. We got simple helmets. Also, I don't know. I don't know if I'd let them eat human corpses. I would let them eat animal corpses. Yeah, for sure. In this run, I'm not sure about the other one. Caught another stream. Yeah, thank you for coming in again. Hello, hello. This year's the beginning of the current YouTube run. We're insane. Um, so the, one of the funny things is someone comes in at the beginning of the fourth episode. I think it's the fourth episode. And you'll see it in the chat in the top corner. Someone comes in and they're like, have you moved colonies a whole bunch? You are not very far along for 10 years in. And I'm like, go look at the beginning. <laughs> like, human bodies that you don't like? Yeah, that's what I was saying too. I, I probably wouldn't do that. It's going dolphin. 
How do you force clothing color? So you see the styling station? All right, I'll go over the whole thing. So first off, you need to grow. You need to grow this new plant. Uh, and here at the very bottom, it's called Tinctoria. Tinctoria, it grows fast. It produces one Tinctoria per, grow, per plot, and it only takes one per die. Once you have Tinctoria harvested, you then right click someone on the on the styling station and you choose to dye their clothing whatever color you want. If you dye it either their um, their ideology color or their favorite color, they will if they have 60% of their clothing as, as those as that color, they will get a very small mood buff. Also looks kind of cool. Someone was saying that they like to have their helmets dyed their favorite color and their clothing dyed the ideology color, so. I thought that was kind of a cool idea. But that's how you do it. You grow a Tinctoria plant and then you use that styling station to dye the clothing. I don't think there's an auto dye in the game right now. There might be a mod for it. Yeah, I've always liked how the double strand looks. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty funny. He's like, 10 years. And I was like, look, guy, it took us three years, almost three years to get beds researched, okay? Go watch the beginning of this run. Why are you coming in at episode four? <laughs> no, I, I wasn't like that, but. It was funny, though. It's like, yeah, I know. You're not telling me anything. I know that we were way behind. Don't worry. Oh, those are not in a good spot. I need to not have him do that. Hang on. Fuck your colonists. Medics are white. Research is blue. Growers green and stuff. Transceive this run, you've been dying everyone's uh, their favorite color, their hair. Seems like body monitors would like hair dye. Such a good song. It's your jam. It's ideology, you do exclamation memes to see the list. There it is, thank you. mess doing beige dusters like darkest red shirt and pants spend way too much time thinking about outfits i probably would too if i was pausing you know but it doesn't even pause during that i probably color code people at least their helmets like uh like y'all was saying yep yeah, no problem thrombos oh yes tame tame those thrombos tame those thrombos that would be awesome. <laughs> We're not allowed to kill them, but we can tame them. Well, I mean, we can try. It's about a 2.2% chance, I think it is. <laughs> what ideology style gives them the curved World War, uh, World War I type hats? I think that's rustic. I think it's rustic. Uh, yep, rustic style. So it's the one that looks like a little house. You go into ours. Uh, right there. Rustic. So you're saying there's a chance, hopefully. All right. Come on, Ansta. Got this. Oh, no, he's an animal specialist, so we actually have a uh, double chance. So it's actually more like a f almost 4.5% chance. 4.5%. Easy. Nope. <laughs> well, specialist, uh, we're using production specialist and animal specialist. Oh, I think it got out of range. I think that one did, too. Char, no, you go back. Char, no, you're not as good at it. Back behind the walls. 
this is x town 4.4 4 and basically 100 percent so a funny thing about that a couple things but this the one that that reminds you of is that XCOM has a really weird thing about crit chances. I don't know if you guys know this, um, even the ones that play XCOM, but XCOM has a really uh, weird thing, XCOM 2, with crit chances. And what it does is the crit chance uh, is, a, is a static number, but it's not really a percentage. It's a static number of the percentage chance to hit. So what I mean by that, is, and the reason why it seems like some enemies crit so much in XCOM, is if you have a 20% chance to hit a shot, and you have a 20% chance to crit, if that shot lands, it will crit 100% of the time. Is that is that ridiculous? It, it's not that if it hits, it has a 20% chance. It's that flat number compared to the chance to hit. So if you, wonder, if you ever wonder why some of the like um, sectoids or whatever, it's like, oh, this sectoid has a 15% chance to hit, but every time they do hit, they crit. Right, that's why. <laughs> cheating aliens we can't attack animals no remember someone mentioned that before vaguely yeah it's it's bs <laughs> i'm trying to remember if that was the case in the first one as well or uh you know the first modern one it's definitely the case in xcom 2 i feel like it is on the first one another uh interesting thing about xcom as people complain about the percentages being incorrect so much that the developers actually made a like blog post type thing where they showed that for anyone that's not playing on the two hardest difficulties, you actually have a higher percent chance to hit than it says. And they showed the code and they showed like, look, at, look, here's a secret help helper percent that's in the code. It's actually, you have a 50%? No, no, you don't actually have 50%. It's more like 65%. So you actually have a better chance. It's just people assume they're going to hit any high number and they don't so it's um it's really unless you're playing on the two highest difficulties in which case percentages are correct you learn the hard way that 98 percent isn't 100 percent oh and in the first xcom i think it was that way in the second one at first too they ended up fixing it you could actually miss 100 percent shots because the displayed number would round up but the percentage wouldn't so you could literally have like a 99.5 percent chance to hit but the game shows you 100% because it wouldn't show the decimal, right? And then you would miss, that. you would get a crappy roll and you would miss that 0.5% and you would literally miss 100% shot. It's like, I thought it was funny that developers actually came out and commented and made a post about it. It's like, no, 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 we're actually helping you. 60% of the time works every time. I don't know why follower bots keep showing up every day. I guess that happens when the stream gets a little bit bigger. I don't know. I think long word, yeah, long word probably does change it. Yeah, Terry's dungeon has hidden actually buff. Yep. I think they changed it to the top two difficulties. Don't in XCOM two. I might be misremembering um, Neko, but I think it's the top two now. What happened to you once you missed the hundred percent? We avoid doing those high percent chance to occur things. People feel cheated when it doesn't happen. really want those four percent chance if i manage to tame one would i keep it or sell it at the moment one of these is worth more raid points than a than a colonist by quite a bit but they could also probably uh tank a lot of raiders so i don't know it's hard to it's hard to choose i think i would probably try to keep one also they're hard to feed on a map like this we could zone them in the cactus fields i suppose and then use them to help us in in combat. That doesn't seem very good, right? Combat animal. Yeah, I'd probably gift it. 90% chance of rain, I guess. What happens when it's at the time? That's another one of those percentage things that's funny. Weather guy, you probably know this already. But percentages to rain and weather are not actual percentages of it to happen. It means that that percentage of the area that the weather is forecasted on will get that weather. But I, I didn't know that as a kid. So as a kid, I, it was uh, kind of upsetting sometimes. I would watch the news. My grandma was always watching the news and weather would come on. There's a, there's a 50% chance of rain. And I would be like, I literally wanted to be a weather caster when I was like six. And I was thinking that's the easiest job ever. 
They just go in there. They look at a screen. They're like, uh, -huh. uh, it may rain. It may not 50% chance. Where's my paycheck? No, that's not how it works. <laughs> Complex topic. Yeah. Like, wow. Six year old Adam. <laughs> I had no clue. Yeah, I had no clue. I'm just a little boy. All I knew about back then was, uh, you know, the great outdoors, Super Mario Brothers, and, and urinal chicken. That's all I knew. Come on, Ansel, you got this. I believe in you. 4.4%. What? Visiting a grave? Okay, let's just do it this way. Let's turn off the, um... Tame on these gazelles. And let's just unrestrict you again. Your little chicken? Uh, yeah. I told a story yesterday. I tell a story about once a year. I already did it this year. I did it yesterday. Two -time urinal chicken right For those here. of you that don't know about urinal chicken, I'm going to highlight it off of the VOD from yesterday. And I will I will put it up on uh, YouTube and in Discord. But if you don't want to wait, you can go about five hours into the VOD yesterday. In your 20s, you found out about the percent of city versus percent chance. Yeah, I think part of it, too, is that they literally say percent and they don't clarify. So I think that's where it comes from, right? 50% chance of rain, but it's not 50% chance. It's that 50% of the forecasted area will receive rain. They don't tell you that. Randy was listening to. Idea for minor themed add to Rimworld run. Gojuice, Luciferium, Thrumbo. I liked, uh, who was it? Who was it that was talking about? Was it Reeve? I don't remember, but last week someone was like, have Luciferium addicted thrombos in crypto sleep caskets in your kill area. And then... Was it you? And then when a raid happens, wake them up. <laughs> Pocket thrombos. It's 50% of the area. Yeah, it's a percent of area. So when you see 10% rain, it doesn't mean 10% of a chance for rain. Because then it's like, why even tell me? It's that 10% of the forecasted area will receive rain. They would come out with uh, crypto sleep sickness. Is it a percent chance or 100% with them? I wonder. Oh, crap. I never set this back up after the traders. My bad. Area, wouldn't that mean you are X percent chance to see rain? Because they don't tell you the exact area. So I suppose since they don't give you the full information, they just give you the percentage. The passes pawn only pawn run. I use the animals turrets for combat, even be feasible. On 500%, I don't know, it would be, if we could use side casting too, then maybe. Maybe. Especially with some cheese. Ancient soldiers and caskets jump out, have some injected go juice and still mess you up. It's true. Oh, we didn't uh, we didn't sell that while we we're gone. Oops. We actually could mine that and buy something. Thrombos of Sleep Sickness would still do fairly well, maybe. At least it has melee blockers. Passes can still do side casting, yeah. Maybe that's what I should do with my super cheese run to just show how exploitive you can be. Matt Cluster, that's an, e that's an EMI. Hey, our first centipede. This doesn't look too bad at all, actually. Oh, there's a drop beacon. We don't know what all that's going to entail. And it's working immediately. So. All right. Choose our uh, mortar for the first time. 
So mortars now do take shooting uh, level into account. I think it's after level eight. So our best shooter is Merrick, it looks like. Now you can wake these up with a cheese that I do sometimes, but my real goal here is to hit one of the turrets, so not just wake them up. Let's see. If we can hit that turret, we can actually take that out without. Oh, so close. All right, what's the drop got in it? Three mechs, okay. It's not too bad. Psycats. Be quite boring for a while. We take a lot of time to start researching. I'm looking Psycats, training of, of animals. Yeah, we probably have to make it so a custom scenario where we start out with something like that. Start out with a couple animals or something. Psycat sound adorable or terrifying? Probably a little bit of both, yeah. We're gonna have saves from these people. Do we end up getting a smoke launcher? I think we ended up uh, not getting it. Thanks, what? If any of these go down, we have to try to save them. Wow, they're actually doing a good job against that centipede. Harvey is no longer with us, but... Chio is probably going down next. Swanee, what are you doing? That's not how melee, melee blocking works, Swanee. Yeah, there's this turret that will still maybe hit us. Wow, they actually took out all those mechs. Uh, we gotta keep an eye to see if any of those go down. So we're gonna have to save them if they do. Oh, geez, guys. Okay. Crap. You guys are, uh... What? Oh yeah, I forgot those don't aim at the those kind of animals anymore. That's right. Alright, we definitely have to take this out though. It might still be worth trying to hit that. Uh we also don't have a sniper though. And we can't make smoke. I wonder if we can get Shizabob out fast enough to and back to get smoke. We're gonna run out of food really quick. You guys are still alive and well? Yeah, for now. Oh, and that's gonna open those turrets up for us. All right, let's just try the mortar. We have uh, three shells and uh, we'll see how that goes. Run after this, can't save people. If they fall down, you have to let them die even if they're, <laughs> even if they're good. <laughs> Maximum evil run. Oh, that was so close. We actually hit the EMI. Come on, Merrick. Hack in some anti grain. They dropped an SMG and I think a chain shotgun, maybe? Yep. Bio coated chain shotgun, SMG, and a pump shotgun. Come on, Merrick. We just need the mini slug turret hit. It's the last chance. Nope. Let's see. That's bio coded. So all we have is SMGs. I mean, SMGs are good, but. Let's 
We do have... I just... I literally just got rid of our bold action. Let's do two streamer bases always and up. Organic built ugly bases. You spend a crazy amount of time making your bases look nice. What? My base is... It's beautiful. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. This is a masterpiece. Uh, do we have enough to buy a smoke launcher? I think it's like 600 or something. I think it's like 600. I don't even know if he's going to end up getting there, but we're, get, we're going to have to see where he tries to leave from. I really should have bought that before. There's no blind spot of the turret. Uh, those mini turrets can hit around a corner. There's no blind spot to this. Like As soon as we get... So we can come up here... And we can make our way. This is going to shoot as we come through this area. But even if you stand here, this can shoot you because of the anti-peaking thing. So, And if I get someone down, also a lot of the steel is probably going to end up burning. So that's going to open up even more line of sight. But uh, Anyone have good PC suggestions? I've never used a pre-made, so I don't know. I don't know. I have a frag grenade, but yeah, the problem is getting, getting over there without killed by turrets smoke solves the issue entirely so if we can just get to smoke really quick nzxt Dude, I'm getting a Dell. I mean, if it comes down to it, we'll uh, we'll do the risk. But what? Oh my lord! Randy, no, no, no. We're gonna have to risk this one. What is that one? Suppressor on mail. It's working immediately too. We gotta take this one out. That's the most important. Man, SMG range is like right friggin' here. It's an EMI, no sun blocker. Wow, that sucks. Her name is in Strange Brother, Peter Predictable. Oh, uh, yeah, it's just that if it gets some lucky shots off in the meantime, is what I'm really worried about. You know, no pause always comes into play, so. Oh, the psychic suppressor also. Oh my god. Look how many metals we have. Psychic suppressor means that if they get hit once, they're probably down.
Come on, miss radius. All right, there. I don't know. <laughs> There's a one miss radius, so it can actually land close enough to, to hit it, but... There we go. Maybe I should just have Dragon Mom and Shiz. Come on, miss the grenade. <laughs> I'm not sure if that one can hit there or not. Yeah. Nice throw. Let's go. Dragon Mom. <laughs> We gotta hurry. Come on, Dragon Mom, what percent? 48, let's go. It's grenades, it's turrets, seem to work really well. Yeah, because the miss radius. All right, power's back up. Now we have a stock expressor, but we can make more shells now. So it, it doesn't stay stunned for very long and we didn't have a grenade. We just had the gun. So it might actually get a shot off. And since that's a flame cannon, if she gets set on fire, she's gonna panic. She might end up dead. So we'll just leave that there for now. It'll get taken out by raiders or something. So it's mainly just really important that we get the, um, the EM, EMI one down. Okay. Uh. Let's see, Insta, grab them, please. Is there any way to control where visitors go? Not without a mod. Let's go to Orin. Welcome in. Yui, Jing, back, Grasswing. Welcome in. Task fell successfully. All right, so now we still have this one. This one's in actually a pretty good defensive location if any raids spawn over here. Uh, the Psychic Express really sucks though. 50% reduced manipulation. The thing is, there's unstable power cells, so if we miss, we might still take this one out. So we'll uh, we'll get some shells made. 
and uh, go from there. Different spot for visitors, like you make for shuttles. Yeah, I do too, that you actually have to build. So there, it, you know, you can't just place it somewhere to cheese things. You actually have to build it. I think that would be uh, really nice. So 50% is on all the males, almost everyone's a male. There's a mod, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I don't care about that. Okay, we could actually get this one, I think. But I don't feel like there's a super good reason to risk it. This one, yeah, we'll just shell. Shell it, just shell it. Dragon Bomb, the hero. Oh, let's turn this back on temporarily. It's better than, wait, who's our um, cook? Not so, cook. Bring on, make some shells. We got, yeah, we gotta get that smoke launcher though. I think even if it means making our own now. So, just to have one. Hey, those common words. <laughs> Never any rim worlds. Oh no, we're not allowed to arrest Merrick to stop him. Someone's gonna have like a minus 30. Please get in a fight with Merrick, someone. So he stops. Emerald Dragon, punch him. Please. Great. He's just doing it to everyone. Oh my god, Merrick's just running around like crazy. Why can't I arrest? Wouldn't be very good to arrest our friend just for having him having a breakdown, you know? Now, if he was trying to murder someone, but him just calling someone's leg hair ugly, it's probably not a means for... Probably shouldn't arrest him for that, you know? I should do social fights or not. They can, yeah. They can't start them. Well, it depends. It depends. They have breakdowns, like Berserk. And attack people still or they can even have murderous rage type things but if they get attacked in a social fight they'll just walk away as they get hit in the back it's a capital offense finally someone fought them Let's see what the damage is here uh creation starred yeah you guys will get over it We got a minus 10 on someone. Oh, we still need to con finish converting that person. Minus 20 on Emerald Dragon, jeez. That's the big ones. Mental break also prevents a catharsis, you think? Depends. It depends. But also they do get the uh, arrested debuff as well, the mood debuff for a while. Either way. Literally, just go and have fun. That's worse than losing a spouse, apparently. Yep. Um, I'll just expand this one right now. I don't know. I'm thinking about making one up there, but I'd have to... Maybe I'll put, like, the wood in there. Yeah, it's fine. Dream break on Sace. Ugh. Recreation starved. Just recreate. All right. Sace, where are you? I don't want you to break down. Just recreate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, can you not do that? 
Someone move that, please. Zidian, can you move that over there? There's other ones too, though, Sace. There's social gatherings. Did I hit the wrong person? No. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's because he's the uh, moral guide, yeah. But... Hard worker. Pro guide and leader has two tiers higher. So, but a lot of it happened because we were we had them standing over here for a full day. The extreme breakdown risk has been reduced already. So, all right, I think we're gonna be done getting this wood for a while. Hmm. I'm okay overproducing rice. We can go trade it. It's light. Time for chocolate instead. Maybe, maybe. I could knock that research out next. Cocoa is not a drug. We do hay grass for animals. Yeah, right now, we, we don't keep them very long. Right now, they're just eating the, slow and insidious uh, killer. the dandelions, which is fine. It's fine. Hughes? Don't know how you feel about a run without war crimes. It's pretty rough. It's pretty rough. Play mods. You can do exclamation mods. I don't usually use very many at all. Primarily just the no pause mod. All right, we got the smoke launcher. A good guy wouldn't wake these up. Corn hater, I am yet. Corn hater. Make art or sell it to use for beauty. Uh, I don't usually use art too much unless I'm already getting to like close to raid cap because it's just too many raid points at this difficulty for me to want to do when I can just plant flowers and get the same result with at no wealth, you know? It takes more work in the long run, but. That cougar is going crazy. Uh, what kind of shield is that? It's just a proximity activator. Yeah, there's no shield. Oh, wait, there is a high shield. Good catch. We don't have an EMP uh, either, so. We're going to have to wait eight days to shell it. So eight days before we can shell it. Or we can make another mortar and have an EMP uh, hit it, but you know, we don't have a barrel, so. Make allies early game. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just if you get caught with the art before you can get it off your map, right? So. Yeah, well, they're waiting on this guy, is, is what they're doing. About what good actually means, yeah. Main thing is, do no evil. So. There's a lot of things that can be argued here, but... It's all relative. Well, with those guys right here, I could have woken it up. High shield doesn't absorb bullets, and they might have caused a chain reaction. I would normally have woken it up when they were walking by, but I didn't. Hold around. No, they're, they're just waiting for the rest of their caravan before they can leave the map is all. Now they'll leave. Could try to get the caravan going. Oh, we dropped down to just 102 from 120. Hmm. 
More flowers. Succeed is a good atom to do nothing. <laughs> it's true. Daylilies and roses any different? They are. Daylilies are prettier, but you have to regrow them more often. So roses will, you need more of them in a room to equal the same amount of beauty, but you don't have to replant them as frequently. So basically daylilies, more, uh, more beautiful, but more work. Uh, eight days, huh? All right, well, let's see which way you leave the map. We'll try to be really careful about it. Okay, I actually have less to trade now because uh, some of our animals went to wild during that, but. Some of this uh, clothing isn't too good or stuff that we're never going to wear in general. What, quality, what percentage is that one? 54. Yeah, we'll take that one too. 51. Okay. Shotgun. Bio code stuff we will break down someday. Someday. I mean, I can make a smelter right now, but. All right. Um, we'll take a little bit more of the rice. Right. We just got to keep an eye on where he's uh, leaving from. Really careful. Because if he tries to go this way, we got to stop him. And if he's going to go straight down through here, we got to stop him. Dwarf Fortress Dance. Time is subjective. Good deeds are subjective. Me, infestations are subjective. I don't know why you're not here for them. But yeah, we had two. That's why it's so dirty in there. Yep. Not my fault you're not, not watching the stream every single minute of its life. You know? Not so. Are you set for priority one cooking? Yeah, you are. Okay. Alright, she's Bob. Let's take a a close eye on you, I should say. Well, the the good news is rabbits are really fast. It's going to show us where the caravan's going. He's going straight through it. Build a wall in that little gap. We could do that and hope he doesn't go this way. Don't let the rabbits die. They're on their way back. Don't worry. Don't worry. Any more frequently? Hey, welcome in. Thank you for being here. I might just wait so we can destroy it. Your life try to be more entertaining. So yeah, I think we'll just wait seven days. But it really sucks because the psychic suppressor, anything bad, and our males are down, and we most of our people are male, so it's pretty rough. We get attacked during this. Uh, of course, if it's normal raiders and most of them are male too, it could help. But just wait and see, I guess. I guess today's Met Cluster Day. <laughs> Yesterday I was talking about. It. I was like, it's, I swear, Rainy picks a seed every day. Rainy picks a seed every day, and it 
it feels like anyway, and then that's what you get. So it's like, yesterday was, oh, it's animal attack day. Just, just animals all day. Man hunters, mass insanity, whatever. It's animal day. Today we've already had two mech clusters and we've only been playing for like an hour. I hope it's not mech cluster day. Explosive pirates, no. Let's go, Jim. Please. Please. Assembling pikemen. We don't know what's in there. Offsite problem causer day? God, I hope not. I was really tempted to leave the temperature one on there, so you can unless it's a quest specific one, I think you can only have one active problem causer at a time. Um just like as an event. Uh, off map problem causer. So I was really tempted to leave the weather one there because the plus 10 temperature kind of sucks, but it's not when it's not as bad as like, you know, toxic, um, toxic one or uh, like EMI. Not for new map. But it's probably the most gentle one, honestly. But. Ugh, 50% conscious on. 70% of the colony. Feels bad. So ice tea is down. It's mainly good research. A group of travelers are passing by. Well, the met cluster is getting woken up. Is that going to be a good thing for us or a bad thing? I don't know. All they need to do is start a chain reaction. If this turret explodes and takes out the unstable power cell, and that'll trigger that one. But I think they might just die. Come on, turret. Oh, it's so close. Some friendly fire is all it needs. Come on. Yes. Oh. Please, bl please blow up. I'm trying to rescue them in the run, yeah. Come on, just one more friendly fire on the turret. Centipede, you can do it. Now these turrets decide to be super accurate. I could technically blow that up with uh, Dragon Mom, but I don't think she'd be able to get away. Dragon Mom could come down around here, throw a grenade there, and run. <laughs> and it might cause a chain reaction. I don't know what that cougar's doing. Air 3 died. What? A Scyther made it all the way to the base during that? Turrets aren't as strong as they used to be. Why did this turret just dart out towards us? We gotta remember we're not on Igor anymore. Turrets aren't gods. <laughs> Oh, if we end up pulling all the mechs to the base right now, we might actually be able to come down here and take care of that. We have the smoke, so. We kind of hope they all get to the base. Oh, he's gonna, oh, oh. I think it's falling the rabbit. All right, rabbit, get inside the walls. Welcome back. Get in. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Thank you, Hare. What a noble sacrifice. All right. Did the high shield get destroyed during that? It did, all right. So we have that available to us now too. Drag position, it's not a mod. They added that to the base game in 1.3. So you can drag your, col your drafted colonists into a line like that in the base game now. Hold down, right click, yeah. Let's go on fire, welcome in. 
Your colonists are forced to become cannibals to survive. Are they still good guys? Or to run over? We, we won't do cannibalism, you know. So we would die of starvation before cannibalism. Alright, our first centipedes. Got a doctor on both sides here. Dragon Mom is at the ready. Greatest Roomba you've ever seen. <laughs> right click and drag pawns. That was not added until 1.3. And a lot of mods included it, but it was even part of the patch notes where they had the picture showing the little yellow, green circles. You used to, when you right click, you would just blob them together depending on how many people you had. But there was a lot of mods that had it, like Octung had it. I think even Allow Tool had it. Defensive Positions had it. Lots of mods had it, but you, you weren't able to drag like this until 1.3. Without mods, I should say. Man, Snippies don't die anywhere near as fast as they did against Igor. Oh, and they adapted. I shouldn't have had her throw them. All right. There is one Scythe remaining. Where's Merrick? Cause I, yeah, in the in the picture we were trying to figure out what it was talking about when it would show the little green circles and the lines connecting them with that dragging skill, but that was the update. Yeah, yeah we can get rid of the suppressor, which is going to help tremendously. We're going to try. No, you know what? I want those power cells. We're going to do this with smoke. Adapted. If you hit them with too many stuns, they will adapt to the the, uh, the grenade. Dragon Bomb. Let's get you the smoke. And then who's another female colonist? Doctor Shizubov is the only other female, and they're incapable of violence. So that sucks. Okay. How long until this is up? 0.7 days. Hmm. Very sexist. I just accept anyone. I don't care who it is. It's the opposite of sexist. Uh, you know what? As much as I want those power cells, I think I'm going to go ahead and try a shot here. If Merrick hits it, it's fine. If they don't, we'll uh, send people out even with the slowed walking. Um, in the daytime. Can she still so shoot smoke? No, they won't even equip a weapon like that. Unfortunately. Alright, Merrick. Come on. So power cells would be nice, yeah. But, I mean, are they within range of each other? Yeah, they are. That sucks. Try one more shot. I need to save a little, like a shot in case we have a siege. All right, Merrick's not doing too great. I wonder if the suppressor's actually even though he has 13 shooting, I wonder if uh, health is involved in mortar accuracy. Manipulation. Yep. <laughs> so, manipulation is at 50%. about working a year and a half ago. I used a mod for it because of that, and it was it was in the 1.3 patch notes, so yeah, I have no idea. Like, you could draft people, and you could click them somewhere, like this, like this, right? You could do this, but you couldn't do this. This was in the patch notes. 
So it depends on what you're, you're, you're talking about exactly. If you hold down right click and you do it around an object like this, you could do that. But you couldn't drag them out in an incremental line. Which I think is what they were talking about. Yeah, so that, that's the new one, being able to drag out like that with the line connecting them. So I think we were just talking about different things. <laughs> we were both right, just talking about different things. I'm gonna turn that off. Turn this off. Yeah. Oh, you were talking about also right clicking and dragging on the bar. Yes, that that's been in the game since like alpha, yeah. You're talking about the long drag. Yeah, now repositioning pawns up here on the bar by right clicking, that's been in there forever. Without a mod. Just about forever, I would say. So we're gonna wait for this to pop, then we'll go out with someone. Yeah, right clicking to rearrange pawns on the pawn selection bar. It's been in there forever. Right click drag pawns in a defensive formation is 1.3. This one might not come to the base either. This one might just pop and defend, which will be its own problem. Be nice if it was a Scyther instead. Let's see. Tame some cougars. I can't without milk. I can't I can't produce meat. All right, so as soon as this one's dead, we gotta get uh, Dragon Mom and someone that's gonna be happy. I guess Merrick. If he gets caught out, he's screwed though. things playing this for a year arranging your pawns now there's lots of little things like that that i uh, i end up going over sometimes because it's easy not to know the game doesn't really tell you like being able to do allow all without a mod or forbid all without a mod setting up defaults for tending on everyone without a mod i can go over those things just in case in just a minute here Hurry up, Pikeman. Oh god, they're friggin' rabbit. Sure drug name the devil's bargain is the epitome of a good guy. <laughs> America's gonna take forever to get here. What if that cougar hunts us while we're there? Oh, if it hunts us, we're in. There, that's all it's there is predators, too. It is kind of likely. We'd have to try to kill the cougar with grenades. I need to bring someone else, just in case. Emerald Dragon, what's your shooting? Four, no. <laughs> Charn, you come up behind us. Go to sleep, cougar. You had that yesterday. I don't know if you noticed. Add it before the stream yesterday.
I'm hitting this first so that we can stop being suppressed on Merrick. Everyone does no smoke blocks, turret uh, line of sight, lock on. Looks like, what's that banging around? Oh, don't worry about it. redeem to take away ARAM's VIP. I should set something like that up but if, to be really expensive. <laughs> Not his specifically, but take away VIP status for 2 million or something. Friggin' miss that was. Holy crap. We're trying to get the unstable power cells during this. Got it. Nice job, team. Let's get home. Love that chain react. The reason you use frag grenades because frag grenades take turrets. So, so what did what decides if a turret explodes or not? If a turret goes from above twenty percent health to zero, it doesn't explode. And so, frag grenades just have to have the right amount of damage to take a turret from above twenty percent to zero, so it won't explode and cause a chain reaction. So that's why you do smoke plus frag grenade if you're trying to uh, save the unstable power cells. So now we got that 800 uh, power. We will have it, which is going to be super helpful. Super helpful. Free power. Yeah, basically kill it from above 20% to zero to in, ensure a uh, heat wave. To ensure a heat wave now. All right, so fire at wills back on. Uh, equip your weapon. Now we can actually go trade, which is nice. Let's so set that up. As long as he doesn't leave where that one flame turret is, but now that I've said that, of course he will, but. All right, let's take the chem fuel. Um, actually, Tim should take plasteel and start selling it, but. Let's go back through these again. Poor clothing. Right, that was the 54% one. Yeah, it's all right. Okay. Pump shotgun. Outcoded okay, stuff. We're still gonna wait to break down. And we took some, we were gonna take some rice last time. So uh, let's just take. Are we good on, on rice? Yeah, yeah, we're fine. There we go. All right, that looks good. Trade that for a few components. How's the lizard mascot today? Doing all right. Deaf a cat, living his best life with half his organs. So, you know, but let's go, Ray J. Shoot it again, it'll explode if you reduce it to zero percent. Don't melee turrets. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point to remember. Christmas tree in the rice fields. Yep. 
Oh, why did I choose? I sometimes I accidentally choose Ansta. I'm not sure why. Um, choose a bob. Add a caravan. Ansta. No, oh, I canceled forming instead of took him out of it. So now I have to wait again. BWSA. Oh yeah, he's in rough shape. Uh, he's missing an eye, a tail, a stomach, part of one of his claws. It's uh, he's seen better days, but. We're giving him, we're letting him, we're keeping him alive. We're giving him all the food he could possibly need. So, all right, let's do that again. I just clicked the person that didn't have a weapon, but Ansa also didn't have a weapon. So that's why I, that happens. Okay, Kim Fuel. Uh, pump action. Those clothes. Okay. And then that rice. All right. There we go. Cost pain suffering. No, he doesn't even feel a thing. He's, uh, he's medicated. Doing all right. I hate that they'll do that before we have the material. So now I have to remake that or else uh, they're going to be unhappy. Also need to fix that. All right, Shiz, let's see where you're leaving the map from. We have one turret still up. And we also need to get these brought in. Carefully. Social fight. Beat the crap out of each other. Have to tend to each other, yeah. It's like in the last playthrough when Rakes, uh, Rakes rips someone's leg off and then. Man, that's crazy. Bolt good ship. Crap, we could have sold a lot of that just to the bolt good ship. Actually, most of it, I think. Come in. <laughs> We the Eagle Run? Yeah, it ended on Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. This is the new run for this week. Alright, we'll unload that. We'll trade to the... Oh my god, what? That's the work area? Merrick! <laughs> Whoa. Sorry, America. <laughs> Forgot I had some of that set up for when we were taming animals. Oh, he's fine though, no worries. You bet the container hidden in the stash. All right, you guys need to finish this. I could have done a Trick and brought them inside before I did that. And I do have to bring it to the stockpile because this is a ship. So. Unfortunately. Never do hauling. Shout TV up means can't hear C. see. You've been the star of the day too, unfortunately. Well, not unfortunately, but it's unfortunate that you weren't able to see you being the star today. All right. Hollings for plebs. I think we're gonna be able to afford all that, but
Oh, I guess we are. Okay. Hmm. We're actually selling labs. I think I'll get this female lab and this male lab. Chocolate for a lizard. <laughs> All right, we got some dogs. You know what? We're gonna name them right off the bat this time. We usually don't do that. I'm going to this kind of playthrough. Okay, uh, let's see. Name a room world pet. Oh my God, this one's named Snack. Thanks, Potwash. What a run for that name to land, huh? We're not allowed to eat snacks. <laughs> Oh my god. Why did you guys choose these names? For <laughs> Snack, fly, pilot, wash, and humane leather from Emerald Dragon. <laughs> Our people are so suppressed. They're like, we we can't eat animals, but we can we can pretend we can name them. Like we can. Snack came pregnant. Nice. All right, well. New lovers, Ice-T and Shizbabob. He struck on Ansta. Yeah, that, well. Our modest fellowship we have enough fans. steel now. Sub. We just bought components, so. Where did they land? Where did they drop the components? I didn't watch this time. Mm-hmm. Uh, who was that? K.O. Thank you for using the Twitch Prime here. Thank you, K.O. Very much appreciated. They were on their way with them. They were carrying them. Can't say it was a tier one sub. I'm sure you know. Thank you for the support. Dogs don't waste any time mating. I want. Yeah, I, sometimes you get lucky and they actually uh, join already pregnant. I wonder if that's the case. Nope. Pregnant. As soon as they landed. I need to get rid of a body in your D&D game. Scared to Google. Got any good advice on hiding bodies? Uh, all right, L, here's some advice. L, you're going to need to go, I shouldn't say this, go secure some insulin, inject it into the person, uh, like up their nose or something like that. So they're, they, it looks like they've had too much insulin and it's an undiagnosed uh, disorder. You then take the body, you go way outside of your geographical area, you dig 10 feet down, you place the body 10 feet down, and then you cover it up until you're about two feet, and then you bury a dead animal there. That way, if the dogs come and they sniff and they dig it up, the cost will think they were just digging up the, the dead animal and they probably won't go any further. And then on top of that, you can plant some kind of like uh, exotic species of plant to make them have to get a permit to even dig that. There you go, do that in your D&D run. Why are you telling us this? Why do I know this information? I play a lot of D&D. And if they do eventually use the body, they, they will probably just think they died of a, some kind of a, I don't know how they got in the 10 foot hole, but that's, that's beside the point. That was eerily detailed. <laughs> uh, watch a lot of CSI. Insulin is just an extra, extra caution, yeah. And you, you can make it. I mean, I don't know this either. Here's somewhere where it, it can be seen as a, a, the body would have actually sank, yeah. Gonna robot, stasis, level one mage. <laughs> Chocobo, wishy welcoming. Uh, just the burying thing will probably work. Yeah, it also depends on how you killed them. I mean, how they died. 
Good, good point, Pickles. All right, I'm gonna turn this back on now. We haven't scanned a single node. Crazy. Crazy. Do do. We got some dogs. Now we're gonna have um, a supply of animals that we can trade without uh, without worry. Okay, we want to get these brought in, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set these to claim. Install this. Back here. They're actually alive via quantum entanglement. Hey, they're finally converted. We only have one person that can deconstruct, really, which is very risky. Sidian is one of our really important, all of our colonists are so important. All of them are equally as important, but he's a little bit more important. He's a little bit more equally important than others. You know? So. Just a little bit more equally important. Yeah, yeah, really unlucky, yeah. I haven't scanner it now is, is nice. It just hasn't found anything yet. Zidian, uh, let's have you deconstruct this while you're here. Okay. More equally important, yeah. Did you got the node this time? Yep, yep, I did. Probably will appear to you when that one's done. Here, all pawns are equal, but some are more equal than others. Exactly, you get it. Is that with so far today? Oh my god, Randy's theme today is met cluster. We had an EMI met cluster, and we needed a... So it took out all our power, and we needed a smoke launcher to really deal with it. So... I got a caravan ready to go get a smoke launcher. The caravan was right here, and a met cluster ran in, landed in front of the, the caravan. I had to cancel, turn them around. We had to do some uh, some secret agent kind of ninja infiltration, get the EMI down, and then we were able to get this one down. So we've had two met clusters. Uh, we had two within like the first hour of today's run. Clean up the remains of this mech cluster right now. Let's put a door so we can more easily ex access this area. If we ever need to. We haven't got any jade in this run. Just planning on doing some jade fencing. But, uh, there we go. Do unstable power cells add to wealth? Yes, they do. 400 market value. So I wonder what that, the equivalent is in geothermal generators though. So they're pretty expensive. That's like half to a third of a pond's market value. On like a basic pond. They do. Now these walls and this steel barricade, because it came from a mech cluster, it wouldn't count unless we claimed it or deconstructed. Show your pawn stats really quick. Sure. You're a 24-year-old hideaway gatherer. Psychically deaf, great memory, trigger happy. Uh, you were also good at planting, but we made you a crafting specialist. So you're basically crafting and shooting. Very good pawn. You were uh, a tribal prisoner. So, uh, Wow, a power cell is a little less than half 
of the market value of a geothermal. Geothermal gives way more power, but for a bigger footprint. of the void thinking over the tier three the golden sub club grows i've been telling people there's not a lot of tier three subs we've ha we have more now than we've ever had which is really crazy we might actually be at like double digits we might have hit 10 tier three subs which is unreal to me uh that's crazy thank you seeker of the void much love to seeker of the void with the golden sub Got a run where your pawns can only do one job you assign them no i haven't done that The nodes, I don't know if they light in area. It's too dangerous for me to leave it in the open. I don't know if they generate light. Oh, you mean the, not the power cells, the nodes. The nodes are minus 20 um, beauty though. So I think they would, but they're really ugly. How do you get the power cells? Power cells are from royalty. So if you have the royalty DLC, you'll get things called mech clusters. When a mech cluster falls, uh, if you manage to destroy it without destroying the power cells, you can claim them, bring them back to your base where they generate 400 power forever, as long as they're connected to the grid. And the only downside really, aside from, of course, they are wealth, is the fact that if they do take damage, they're gonna explode in a big radius, which is why we're covering them up. Well, I came back to the room. That's awesome, yeah. Thank you, Seeker. I appreciate it. Really do. Glad you're liking the stream. And the YouTubes, as we call it. Yeah, they're usually blown up, so there are certain ways that you can go about trying to get them without blowing them up. We just did that with a smoke launcher and a uh, frag grenade. Just If you want to see how we did it, it's probably about 20 minutes ago in the VOD, if you want to click back. Somewhere around there. You guys have the same cards. And it's a weird poker game they play on. Everyone, the deck is just aces. I'm gonna play Rimworld, but where you get bored, frustrated at your level when you play it yourself. <laughs> Who's that clip from? Is that the mech cluster or something else? Couch co op kind of feeling either. Gotcha. Yeah, it's dangerous. Yeah. So I was thinking that too when I would put it there. I should probably just put it on the other side. Just to be extra safe. In case there's a z event. Right. That's the body hiding clip. You're amazed at how quickly I came up with it. Yeah. How quick I came up with it on the spot, having never known that in the past. Yeah. All right, let's do a uh, Sky Lantern. You're afraid that future breachers might come from there? I've thought about that too. 
So far, all breachers from this side have gone through this spot, but there's a worry I have. I'm also worried about breachers coming through here, which I want to try something. On a list somewhere now. I've have you seen the quotes in this channel? I'm on all kinds of lists. What event is it where they're carrying logs around? It's the Sky Lantern Festival. They're building their own individual Sky Lanterns. It's very Stardew. Cannibal Training Simulator room room. Beautiful. Hey, it really was beautiful, you know. It's a very beautiful event. This game is so wholesome. Granny's definitely on some lists. And there's only one list Granny wasn't on. And that list is in possession of St. Peter. <laughs> Sorry, Granny. You know it's true. You getting some snowstorms where you are? No, none here. Puts the party in the Donner party. It's very true, yeah. You're <laughs> She's also not on your Christmas card list. She's not on the nice list either. I think Lunar added those quotes, yeah. I saw the clip. Pilot Watch, you are so unlucky with the death blows. Two, three inches of snow and ice. Yeah, we haven't had any snow here. It's weird. Usually get some snow in November. Just a little bit, at least. But not getting any. Nothing. Black ice everywhere where you are. It's always scary. I believe we haven't scanned more yet. Hmm. How many people are up to? 10. Let's edit this. Big survival streak that ended the other day. Hey, Rhino Self Team, nice. Nice. All right, we have some excess rice. Maybe I can go ahead and take out this flame cannon. Then I can try the the fence over there that I want to. Let's see if the suede's breachers from coming that way. That would be pretty cool if it does. Not sure if it has to have an animal in it, but that's the kind of stuff we'd be testing, I suppose, so. Right. Uh, yeah, we, we can take it out pretty pretty easily, as long as you don't get attacked in the process, so. I'll go ahead and get it set up. When Dragon Mom and, um, Merrick are up. Whole stream is because of time zones. The VODs are always there, but yeah. If you're looking more of a live interaction type thing, the VODs are there, and then of course YouTube, but... Yeah. I've switched my schedule quite a few times with streaming, including switching to a full 12 hours to go during the daytime, and... It's been good in ways and bad in others. Better for some people, worse for others. It's always going to be the case, I suppose. Let's go, you two. Good for you, though. Just stop sleeping. <laughs> it's as easy as that.
Jeb. Like 3 a.m. yesterday, your time. Whoops. <laughs> I know. I remember you saying that when you left yesterday. You're like, "Oh, it's almost 3 a.m. My time. I should get off here." Start streaming 24/7. It's the only way to please everyone. I thought about doing reruns again for the crowd that used to watch in the evenings. I know it's not quite the same. Chat does run during a rerun, but uh, I don't know. The, I'm gonna have to talk to Twitch about it too because the reason I stopped doing reruns, um, I used to do them, and you know, like. Sometimes with Dark Dungeon reruns, we'd have like 140 people watching the rerun, which was which was awesome. I would stop in and chat sometimes as well if I wasn't doing anything or if I was working on something, you know. Uh, but then it started impacting things like bounties and sponsorships because reruns were counting towards concurrent viewership numbers, CCV. And CCV is one of the uh, main stats that bounties and sponsorships and things like that look at. And those are a major thing that allows me to keep streaming full time. So... It's totally not 4 a.m. there right now, Angie. <laughs> Wait, Angie, where are you? I, I was thinking you were somewhere else. I know I asked you before, but I must be getting your name mixed up. It's been a long time since I asked you. Three months ago, maybe. Between Matt, Pat, and me, that's how you learn how these platforms work. It's pretty cool, yeah. Wow. They're a much bigger content creator than I am. Australia. Okay, okay. I thought you were in the in the EU for some reason. Australia. Can I believe we haven't scanned anything? Crazy. I think it's cause we have so many people working on plants all the freaking time. That's all right. We're gonna we're gonna trade some of these soon. Soon, she's over there. Points. <laughs> Thank you. That's very helpful. All right. So one of the things that I want to experiment with, and I want to experiment it with it in more of um like a testing scenario, not necessarily just this, but apparently they have made it so that breachers try to avoid uh, pins, pin enclosures, and so we were talking on Discord about how. If that's true and it works every time, you might can dictate where breachers come into your base by putting, um, a, a, you know, a pin everywhere you don't want them to. And we had the question, does that work every time? Does it still work against smart breachers? Does it work if you don't have any animals in, but it's still a pin? So, um, you might remember when Ideology first came out, like, breachers just ripping through fences like they were walls. They would just spawn, they'd be like target fences. I don't know why. So they might've been overzealous by, with fixing that. So I'm going to uh, test it out on here a little bit and we'll see like anecdotally if it, it, it helps. Um, and then I'll have to test it out in like higher capacity some other time. So. Let's see. Uh, Zoolander, welcome in. Watch the whole series on YouTube and all the content. That's awesome. Which uh, which one do you like on YouTube? Don't say all. I'm just I'm just curious, like which one you came in on or which one you're like, yeah, I'm gonna keep watching this. If you don't mind me asking, of course. It's gonna be really dangerous to build. We're gonna try it out. Be huge. Expands. Still not a lot of material Raise though. Because it's fencing and fencing isn't a lot of material. Okay. Uh, and then we need a pin marker. We'll try it out. Why not? Yeah, they would grenade. Oh man, they really aggroed on egg boxes specifically. That was crazy. Uh, Elimitus, thank you for the subscription. Thank you, Elimitus. Very much appreciated. So we're gonna try. 
being asked you found your transhumanist run very cool that's also yeah thank you crescent one fight where you had a molotov person run around and set people on fire <laughs> it was amazing <laughs> uh the doomsday couldn't shoot because he was panicking yeah first ideology playthrough you had and watched part way through the melee only run 20 year run old run outer walls are so 2021 outer pins is where it's at blind sight darkness fighting just built a bunker blind sight i haven't darkness i've done quite a bit all right this is gonna be dangerous i'm gonna have to keep a really close eye on this this is right near the edge of the map Ben's nutrition growth stat. Uh, let me double check. I yeah, believe it is. I think we checked it before, actually. So, yeah. It shows you the nutri nutrition growth, uh, including, like, those. So the nutrition from the flowers is not enough to keep them fully fed right now. We are dumping some rice in there. So... Our modest fellowship expands. Praise this. Uncle Jay, thank you for the subscription also. Thank you, Uncle Jay. Appreciate the support. Much love to Uncle Jay. What is this for? We're testing out if we can make it so breachers will try to avoid uh, an assigned pin. Some people have had some success and are saying that, uh, we're talking about it on, on Discord actually, and that if it does work, you can force breachers to where you want to go. I'll need to test it in a more like, you know, developer mode setting but uh, we can test it kind of anecdotally here and see if it feels like that's working and if we need to assign an animal to it or not, stuff like that. How do you handle the transition from Apprentice to Veteran Dungeons and Darkest Dungeon? And end up stabbing your runs and you get to that point. What it asks? Okay. So there's two things I would say. Uh, first off, it depends a little bit on what difficulty you're playing on. If you're playing on like Blood Moon or something like that, where you have uh, a set number of weeks to worry about, you have to think about it a little bit differently. But just as general two things, one, unlock a boss in all four zones as fast as you can. So get the zone um, to have a boss fight. That way, every week when you have a reset in Darkest Dungeon, every every weeks or every new week, you'll have four different opportunities to roll a good trinket. So that's one thing I would say. Hunt for those good rare trinkets that can actually start turning the run a little bit. You know, focus rings, um, a healing trinket for the Vestal. You know, there, there's all kinds of different ones, right? So that gives you more opportunity to get those trinkets early. So that's the first one. The second thing I would say is level up your, uh, your parties equally. So especially the ones that you know you're going to want to use against like veteran bosses and the last four dungeons, um, dungeon quests. You should have 16-ish people, probably more like 20, that you know you're going to use for all those things, right? Level all them up equally. And what that'll do is it'll let you save your uh, your gold by not upgrading them to threes and fours and whatever for their skills and whatnot. Uh, and if you have the bank, you know, that's going to eat into your uh, the interest that you're getting paid. So that's the two things I would say is stay in Apprentice Dungeons until you get everyone leveled up to... Um, you know, level, level two. And then you can start using your level twos to finish off bosses and whatnot once you start getting the good trinkets. So, so that's the two big things. Farm apprentice dungeons for good trinkets and money and things like that. And then level everyone up equally. Once you get those things, then go up to veteran and then do the same thing at veteran um, as, one of the, as what I would say if you're trying to do it, um, you know, safe, safe as you can. Yeah, no problem, Crescent. I don't mind answering Dark Dungeon questions. That's where the stream got its legs. A lot of people don't know because they found me the RimWorlds, but before RimWorld, I was doing like world first, crazy, stupid, hard challenges in the Darkest Dungeon. And uh, some of those are up on YouTube if you're you're curious with that too. I try to explain what I'm doing and why I'm doing it during those playthroughs as well. So, yeah, I don't know if this cheese will work, but it'll be a really nice cheese if it does. So, we are going to try it out. We need another person that can build. Like, if Zidian dies, we're going to be in a lot of a lot of pain. We got to protect Zidian. Into your Dark's Dungeon. D2. Wasn't even close. 
Meteorite. Okay, nowhere that matters. Um, it's almost time for the Christmas party. Hey, you're just going to be, I know, yeah. The pink is fading to blonde and the brown is growing through. Let's go to R-squared. It's good to see. Appreciate my scientific research. It's your first playthrough. You were not prepared. Oh, uh, I, I really wish I had saved my first ever... So when Darkest Dungeon 2 came out, I saved my first Darkest Dungeon 2 run and I even posted on YouTube. And I had, I I was very fortunate. I got to play the game 24 hours before, me and some other streamers got to play it 24 hours before anyone else. I posted it that day on YouTube. I had comments on YouTube that day tell me I didn't know how to play the game. And that I didn't know what certain mechanics did. And I was like, it's literally my first time ever playing. The game's not even released into early access yet. What is wrong with these people? But anyway, I, that really happened. But I'll circle back around. My main point is I wish I had saved my first playthrough for Darkest Dungeon. To go look at my first playthrough of Darkest Dungeon where I had 20 deaths or something, you know? I didn't know anything. Uh, and comparing it to like the world first challenge would have been really interesting. Thing, same thing with RimWorld. I did not save my first RimWorld runs. I don't know. To go back and look at RimWorld playthrough that I knew not, when I knew nothing, I played the game blindly would be really fun <laughs> and it doesn't exist. YouTube comments are worse than Reddit. Yes, yeah. Well, I gotta say 99% of the comments are are positive, but then you get ones like like today. We had a new record actually. We went uh, three days before a guide got a negative comment. There was a comment on the guide, the wealth guide today, calling it stupid. And their point was, get this, it was, you should play the game however you want, but you shouldn't play it in a way where you have to manage wealth. You should play the game. You should play the game how you want, but you shouldn't play the way it's talking about in this guide. You should play it any way you want, but not this way. <laughs> what, what do these people think when they're typing this stuff? It's so, it's like... I know it's clear they didn't watch the video because in the guide early on in the middle and at the end it reiterates you don't have to play this way this is how the mechanic works if it's not fun for you don't play that way play however you like play however you have fun playing it literally says that multiple times throughout the video the person didn't watch they started the video and they saw it say something about destroying wealth and they were like oh, oh no that's not how i like to play yeah they don't they don't think at all I was like, really? <laughs> you can have any color you want as long as it's black. <laughs> Play however you want, except for this way. But uh, anyway, it doesn't matter because any comments at all actually helps the algorithm. So their comment does help. And it's like people looking at negative reviews on, um, on like Amazon and stuff uh, that sometimes help them buy it. So what Smurf was saying earlier, which I agree with. It's just silly. It's just silly. <laughs> yeah, it's a new record, though. I usually get a hate comment, like, on the uh, first day a guide's posted, so... It's nice. Three days. Yeah, that's that's the good side. Any interaction with the video actually helps the algorithm, so... Hey, it looks like this is our ostrich now. What's <laughs> to you? And you go, you don't really enjoy it. And they ask what you had and tell them you ordered the wrong thing. It's wrong, and why does the restaurant offer it? Yeah. Well, that's the problem. Their steaks aren't very good. You gotta order their fish and chips, and then you'll like the restaurant. It's like, but I, I didn't want fish and chips. I wanted steak. It's a really good restaurant. Just don't order any of the beef products. It's like... No. These videos, thanks for helping the algorithm. <laughs> People try to shame difficulties and stuff as well. Yeah, and I try to, in, in these playthroughs when I'm min-maxing wealth, I try to make sure people know, it's like, you know, I play like this, um, it makes this difficulty less punishing. But play however you want. Single player game, do whatever you want. There's some of these lags, similar to how MMR is and I'm measuring a skill, the ability to win. It's a good way to put it, Stoic, yeah. I'm having fun. No, you're playing wrong. Let's go invest. Welcome in. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, so it's a real welcome in. Every production specialist for Master of Beds. Mosh, get to start a new run. Rolling the starting tribe. That's where the real game begins. That's right. <laughs> Got some scenarios, or are there any worth trying? Um, do you mean, like, edit the scenario and make my own in the beginning? I've done stuff like that, but it depends on how extreme you mean. If you mean, like, setting up a planet killer or something like that, I haven't done one of those. Uh, you know what, Zidian? No, you're good. Let's go. Buffaloes are in the caravan. You set up some barricades to the edge of the map. The path that does that force you to leave the map in that spot because you can't lead the buffalo off the path. What I f would fear would happen is it would still select one of those spots and they would go a long way to get out. So let's say you enclose uh, a pin like this and they were leaving here. Instead of going over the fence, I feel like they would go all the way down here, all the way over here, all the way up, and then leave. Now, if you could build it at the edge of the map, that would probably work. But because you can't build at the edge, I'm afraid it would just make the caravans go around, which would be even longer. I don't know. But that's what, what I would assume. Just based on how everything else works with those sort of things. But it's a good idea, though. Especially if you could build to the edge. There is mods where you can build to the edge. Drop multiplayer on real I'm rolling, you can keep playing. How you want if it's single player? Such a hard wider response. All entertainment is subjective, yeah, absolutely. In that same sort of vein, uh, I've also kind of hated how so many movies get crapped on. I, I don't care. I don't read critic reviews before I watch a movie. Sometimes it's funny to read them afterwards. There's so many movies that are just I watch just for stupid entertainment. Just popcorn, flick, just it's fun to watch. I don't care. You know, it doesn't need to be a masterpiece, but we've gotten to this, especially where critics and reviewers, it needs to be a masterpiece. And I remember the like most recent Godzilla movies, like the last two, I watched them. I absolutely loved them. I had a lot of fun watching them. You know why I watch a Godzilla movie? I want to see giant monsters fight. That's it. I don't care. Story sucks. Doesn't make sense. I don't care. But you got Godzilla ripping something's mouth open and shooting a beam of light into them until they explode. That's quality content. But then you'll go read the critical review and it's like, no one should watch this movie. And they start talking about how it's a, it's not this like critical masterpiece or something. It's like not everything has to be, you know. Every movie has to be either Shawshank Redemption or The Godfather. That's it. He's destroying Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, I really like all the Godzilla movies. They're just fun. Uh, there's parts of them I don't like, obviously, but you know, they're fun. Last DBZ movie was great. Who cares about the rest? <laughs> Idiox is a great example of that. This is a good movie? No, it's stupid on purpose. You loved it for that. Great commentary on how stupid people have become. Superheroes blow stuff up, not for the story. Yeah, I mean, if it has a good story, awesome. I would love a good story, but there are some movies that I just go because I like, it's just dumb entertainment. That's fine for me. I like, you know, hard hitting movies as well, but sometimes you don't, you don't want that. You just want to have fun. It's like, how dare you watch Godzilla King of Monsters? You should be watching Schindler's List. It's like, I've seen Schindler's List. It's a very hard hitting movie. It's very important. I in enjoyed it in that sort of way. But you know, sometimes I just want to sit down and watch monsters kill each other. Three people who enjoy it for other entertainment? Yeah, right. Like, who cares? Who cares? My brain needs a break. Girls just want to have fun. <laughs> hey, it's an outpost, so we don't have to worry about it. It's not a yellow quest. Avenge his dead dog through three movies <laughs> with a kill counter. Saw the reviews of Pacific Rim being bad. Gave us what we wanted, though. Right? Yeah, like... It's whatever. And another really bad part about that is there's a lot of people that will get on that sort of bandwagon and push it. Not that just critics. And it'll become this thing where 
people try to like embarrass you for liking something. It's like, who cares? Play however you want, watch whatever you want, have fun however you want, as long as it's not hurting anyone else, you know? I don't care. Your favorite band is Nickelback, and the latest Transformers movie was your favorite of all time? It's fine. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Libertine. <laughs> A little extreme there, I am. <laughs> Come on, Zidian. Don't get attacked while I got here. You need to finish this today, alright? You're already here. Just finish it. Finish it. About the first Godzilla. To follow the dude Brian Cranston all over the trailers. He was big at the time. The yes, yeah. <laughs> But panicking, we didn't come here to see some heartfelt story about a soldier having to leave family to fight. Show us monster crushing, yeah. Yep. Like, Godzilla vs. King Kong, it had its problems. I really hated that they threw in that story arc with, uh, I don't even remember her name. I never remember her name. I just call her Eleven. You know what I'm talking about. They threw in Eleven just to have her in there because she was super popular. And that whole story arc was really dumb and... Made no sense, but I don't care. It didn't ruin it for me. It was still entertaining enough. <laughs> so, do we trap any animals that are now just our animals? No, <laughs> they got out. Same with music. Yeah, right? Like, who cares? It's mainstream music, and that's ridiculed. Do not like the mainstream? How dare you? Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. It's like, just don't listen to it if you don't like it. Done. Done. Is that pineapple? No, I'm not getting that. That's good, too. Royal Tribute Collector! Considered playing some Nautica. Yeah, I put it on the list a few times. It hasn't won yet. I don't know if we need an animal in the pins. That's what I'm wondering. I actually want the Boomalo up here, not in this pin. And the horses. I think I'm just going to put something else in this pin. Not sure what. Like, just win something. Oh, the elephants are back. Put an ostrich in there. This one. So play Romero pirated even though I have bought the game DLCs in your Steam. That's interesting. I don't know. Yeah, I, don't, I don't pirate stuff, so I'm not going to condone it either way, but it's interesting that you still play that version even though you have the real version now. Put all the pawns bad <laughs> thoughts about Godzilla into the pin. We're going to... Oh, Plague. Oh, it only hit two people this time. That's nice. Ice-T and Sace. Uh, it seems a Sace first. Don't pirate stuff either. I really don't, but... See more shot for mods, though. I would say so, yeah. Young, you pirated a lot. Uh, young me, when I got my very first computer ever, I basically destroyed it. And we were poor, too, so it was a big deal. Basically, our house burned down. I lost everything. And then with the insurance... Some of the insurance money, my mom... Bought me a computer instead of buying like consoles and stuff again for me. Um, and I, it didn't take me very long to find Kazaa and to find LimeWire. 
And it didn't take me very long to destroy the computer, pretty much. I haven't really pirated, thing, pirated things very much since, so... <laughs> King Kong have finished fighting, your city's destroyed. Brief reprieve, another gigantic mechanical monster comes out of the mountain. Yeah. Oh, Hong Kong and Japan always get wrecked in those movies, yeah. How many elephants? Just three of them? Okay, uh, we gotta try to help these guys. So back in the day, MP3 converter. Definitely legit file.x. Why is this in the end track from Linkin Park? Why is it 18 gigabytes? That's half my com that's half my drive. I don't know, I guess that's how big songs are. I'll download it over the next week. Two weeks. Is he coming all the way up there? Another one. We're gonna have to bury these guys. All right, how many of them died protecting the colony? We gotta bury them. Also rescue that one. Is there friendly fire? Yes, we actually have a guide that's coming out about friendly fire probably next week. There is friendly fire, yep. But you can minimize it depending on certain setups. All right, we got uh, one Empire guy died. Yeah. So yes, there is friendly fire, uh, and there's also safe range. What's so friendly about fire? That's a good question. You're friendly firing wrong. Okay, we will bury them. Thank you for helping stop the elephants. We will remember you. Arcadius. And another empire that helped, empire soldier that helped us, Zoe, helped us stop the bugs that would have killed us, so. Thank you, Arcadius and Zoe. Zoe? With a cat named Zoe. All right, Ansta. Uh, what are you, what, what are you doing? Taming ostrich? Not that one. Oh, okay. That one's pretty far away. It's got a 10% chance to attack you, so... I'm gonna start running people down here just in case. So melee tanks, yeah. Why brush? Wait, what are you talking about? Why berry? Exclamation run. Because we're doing a good guy run. I think I brought some people down. Ostrich, yeah. Sad. But they're vicious. They only have 10%. Emus have 100% chance if you fail, but I thought we might be okay. Out here in case he gets attacked. Surprise is faster. 
Can't for accepting quests. You try to run where you try to complete all the quests. We don't have to accept every quest, no. Like, if someone wants us to make some shirts, we don't have to accept it. It'll actually show us which quests we have to accept because of our ideology. So quests that have the yellow box for charity required. Uh, we have to do those ones. But, you know, we don't have to. We need 31 shirts by next week. Our, our thing is do no evil. Do you need one neural supercharger per colonist? Yes, in practice, you kind of do. I still think they should change that somewhat. So they don't use it right at the 24 mark. So you can actually kind of get away sometimes with a little less. But even if you have one per, they actually don't look for the neural supercharger until after they've already ran out completely of the previous hit on it. It's not like tending. I wish it was like tending. Tending, there's two things. There's uh, time until they can be tended again and time until tending runs out, which is pretty annoying. Uh, not, It's pretty annoying that the neural supercharger isn't like that because that way, you know, you can just tend any time between those two windows. Neural supercharger, you have to wait until it's completely off of them. So in practice, yeah. One per colonist, and that also ends up meaning... Um, that they are still unhappy sometimes for a couple of in-game hours, even with one per colonist. Yeah, or like drugs, there's there's like a, a meter where they can, there's a little leeway there where they can, uh, they'll be okay waiting. So, short answer, yes. Am I enjoying this run? If you do I enjoy it, just says, Rushing right from the way play, where it's getting tedious. Uh, no, it's been it's been good to play differently. Yeah, it's annoying in a good way. This is the way you always play, though. Would it be hard for you to make yourself do a run the way I normally do one? Uh, looks like you're getting through the plague pretty quickly. Pretty quickly. Different approaches. Yeah, we've had some really dangerous moments that I wouldn't have, have had in a normal run, you know? So, it's pretty interesting to do. All right, when they're over their plague, I'm gonna do a festival. Till then, we're just gonna sit tight. No master right now. Oh, the dogs are fully uh, trained, nice. I'm gonna leave them inside still though. Eyes oh, in the war crimes, yeah. yeah. You never eat human meat. You still use humane leather, though, in your normal runs. Otherwise, you're a terrible person like me. <laughs> Wealth management, just love to hoard. Yeah, hopefully that guide helps with that kind of stuff, but... I think it's uh, human nature to an extent. It's also... Um, gamer nature, because a lot of games, you're rewarded for that, right? Like, you take a game... Like, uh, other colony builder games, like, let's say Banished or something, or Timberborn, the newer game. You have a surplus of food and water, that's amazing. Like, have as much water as you possibly can, that's fine, doesn't matter. Because it's not like the beaver is going to get attacked by anything <laughs> if you have more. Or in Banished, you're not going to get raided for having more food or something, right? But So it's good to stockpile those, those things for when you actually need them. In Rimworld, it's good to an extent, but then after that, it's actively hurting you. Mega Phoenix. It's the happy you didn't die from the Plague Festival. <laughs> oh, it's uh, also uh, time for our Christmas festival. Guys, get over the pl plague so we can celebrate Christmas. Heathens? I think they're going to be fine. Yeah, they're going to be fine. We could probably go ahead and do it, honestly. think we probably will. I think we probably will. Oh no, not the muscle. I forgot about that. Last year, right as the Christmas tree disappeared, people got muscle parasites. That's right. <laughs> All right, let's see if that uh, happens again. Surely not. All I got for Christmas is the plague, Charlie Brown. It's my favorite Christmas movie. 
It's your tile. Where plus an item is really rare. Yeah, yeah. It's like in the guide. We it, uh, it even says in that guide that I put out. Like sometimes even getting rid of silver is a good good thing to do. Hey, we finally have an ally because you can always get more silver, right? You can always get more silver. Uh, we'll actually call them in to trade. Wow, we're actually calling in friends for the first time. Look at us. Don't like horde logs, you're calling... Yeah, yeah. Or do. Play however you want. But if you are trying to play on hard difficulties, or you just want to understand wealth, you know? Alright. Stuff like skill trainers, tech prints. Yeah, tech prints are... In a way, they're very similar to uh, skill trainers, too. The person that applies the tech print actually gets quite a bit of intelligence um, off of it, which I've always found kind of kind of interesting. Call him, just say hi, we miss you. Now we're gonna we're gonna give them some rice. All I could hear was Who's down in Whoville? That's right, with their tink tinkerers and bang bangers. All that stuff. Stealing their presents. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I I might try to build the ship through just trading for what we need. Instead of having um, crafting down and stuff, like advanced crafting, I might do that. Yeah, side casts are 100% money sink because you don't get any wealth from side cast. Yep. All right. Uh, let's do another festival. 78%. Um, maybe I should finally build the altar. Probably should have a long time ago, but... Do I want to build it? Wait, do we still have someone of another ideology? We might... Oh yeah, we have the effigy thing we can do. That's for an auto join though. We gotta be careful with that because we do this and it's someone that we uh, we don't want. We still have to keep them. So all right, we'll do. It. Hey, hyper threads, welcome in. Long time YouTube viewer, first time Twitch. Thanks for the great videos. Thank you for watching. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you for letting me know. Yes, thank you very much for watching. So we're for power armor helmets too. Yeah, yeah, I do that a lot. You probably noticed that in my playthroughs. I tend to buy whichever ones are offered. Yeah, yeah and then really not the one of the big upgrades from like simple helmets or something like that to uh, even a recon is that it covers the face where a simple helmet doesn't. It's a really big upgrade in stats and in coverage. Okay, when those guys get here, we're gonna trade them a bunch of rice. Also wondering about sappers from back there. I think I'm gonna make a uh, turret back here. Help with drops a little bit too, I suppose. Disappointing colonists heroically die. Solo unarmed assaults, no. <laughs> no. No, I'm trying to keep them alive for real. It's against the rules, yeah. Just a self-imposed thing. Boredom. We're at 60,000 wealth. We gotta chill out. Trade caravan needs to get here. Big time. Come on, trade caravan. We got some wealth to dump. <laughs> Feel a lot of people to reach a certain amount. Now it's fairly rare. Yeah, and I didn't take. Um... Oh god. I didn't take the events or the festivals to get more people this time, which I usually do. Yeah. So it's much easier to see that. Might as well try again while you're out here. 
That was still there from when we uh, took care of the mech cluster. This is Randy. This is a Randy run. It's going Harry, welcome in. Hmm. So I want to see how far in here we can get without overhead mountain. So we need a better place to throw EMPs from on breachers. <laughs> Not very far, it turns out. Yeah, Not very far at all. <laughs> Mad ostrich. He hates that fence. Nice. Nah, you know, they just get upset sometimes. It's fine. Why do we keep getting cargo pods of leather? Yeah, thanks for making this mess for me to clean up. Traders in the game, you're doing a ranch run. You have 40 elephants tamed and trained. Is not a single trader you've had that wants to buy them? Uh, Generally, elephants will be bought by exotic goods but the other thing is you can travel and sell them so you could always travel a uh, caravan over and, and sell them that way instead let's go on pirate Welcome in. what the ushers went and attacked the rhino should this run cause good guy uh, that's a good question. I don't know. Might should try that. Originally, I was going to take um, only a couple people to go and leave these guys here to keep spreading the word. Melee damage between Bionic, Architect, and Regular Arms with the same melee skill level in unarmed combat? I'm not sure, actually. It's an interesting question. In unarmed combat? I've never, uh, I've never thought about it. The bulk goods trader is here. Same animals. Um, not all, but yeah, if we can. We try to. We don't hunt and eat them. Unarmed? Yeah, I'm not sure. I would think so. I would think they do more damage to him. I don't know. Fathom has redeemed a triple granny. Mr. Granable, when you visit again? Um, soon, soon. All right, Fathom, you know how it works. The next three quotes you summon, granny will read. All right, here we go. You know, we're playing uh, Dishonored on on Wednesdays and they have 10 strictures, but my granny, she only had three strictures and, and this is what they were. Number one, I just know these people were shaking butts together. Scripture two, my wife rejected me. Scripture three, we're making a step ladder to hell. And that's where she stays to this day. Sometimes you get good granny quotes, sometimes you don't. Sometimes it's right in the middle. Thank you, Fathom. <laughs> so having trouble loading, this keeps the circle. That's really weird, yeah. No, yeah, no one else has mentioned it. Two people are, are you or only having it here? You can try, well, you probably don't hear me, but you can try to put it on source instead of uh, auto and see if that helps, but blood shakers where? All right, let's go trade. Yeah, that's not good. All right, um, so we're going to sell them a bunch. 
of rice and kim fuel. Uh, what do you guys got down here? Hmm. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Nothing down here we really want. So, uh, we do need another barrel. That would be pretty helpful, but... Can we afford it? We just we have some silver we can mine. I'm not gonna sell them the horse. We're using that one. Um, sell them some of the cloth. Okay, and some of the devil strand. All right, that'll do. We'll sell them. Yeah, we'll sell them more of it. We're all clothed right now. We'll have more coming in. So. And, yeah, we'll grab some... Com I might actually use that to go buy advanced components. We'll see. Yeah, we'll just zero it out right now. A, B, C. I know I didn't do it. First time, like, ever. Last time we had, like, 400 components. So. A step ladder downward? Yeah, is that weird? Yeah, turn it upside down and everything. But step ladders do go both ways. It's not advised just to get down by jumping off every time. Full grade from cloth. Yes, Devil Strand is the third best textile in the game. It is the best one that you can make yourself. Unless you have a Thrumbo farm. Devil Strand is incredibly good. Way better than cloth. Not even close. Uh, the best three textiles in the game are Hyperweave, Thrumbofur, and Devil Strand. Thrumbofur has the highest sharp resistance. Hyperweave has the highest blunt resistance. If I'm remembering correctly between those two, it's one or the other. And then Devil Strand is right behind them. So, in Devil Strand you can just make yourself, which is really, really nice. Human leather. I don't know where uh, on the tier list human leather ends up being as far as defensive. But Devil Strand beats out human leather too, yeah. So I think I'm going to take some silver and see... Well, I keep saying we need to sit tight, so... Wearing mushroom clothes is good for the environment. That's also true. Alright, so we're going to get... Uh, you know what? Nah, we'll wait. We'll wait on it. I recommend practicing hunting thrombos. You can have everyone equipped with one. You have excess. Yeah, the thing about it is just to remember... Oh, oh healer mixer. There's an enemy outpost guard by 10 pirates. So we'd have to take a lot of people. I'm not going to risk it, but... The other run, I would have done that. Um. Anyway, it's important to note, though, I think a thrombo, when you kill and butcher it... It's something like 2,200 wealth. Like 2,200 wealth. So, you gotta be really careful early game uh, about stuff like that. So, it, it's a pretty good idea that once you um, use the, the fur, that you at least take the horn if you're not using it as a melee weapon. They're actually pretty good melee weapons. They're, they're on par almost with like Plasteel Longsword, which is really good. Especially early game. Uh, but take the Thermo Horn and, and take it somewhere. Go sell it. Go give it as a gift for rep. Uh, they're worth a lot, just laying around. Yeah, I'll be trying Door Fortress when it eventually is live on Steam, yeah. <laughs> eventually. Armor, but it's so tasty. Combat supply ship, okay. Documents, games never come out. Time is subjective. Time is relative, yeah. Whichever it says. Chill belt would be pretty handy as well.
Hum, hum, do I want that right now? Oh, wait. Shell Belt's pretty easy to come by. So I in a normal run. Normal Duster alone is like 1,000 wealth in normal quality. Yeah, it's really crazy, but it's very, very good. I bought goods. You know what? We can sell some more rice. I like to get into, we can't. Take so much brain space to know what your dwarves are thinking. You need to go through like three menus. Yeah, so hopefully the Steam one will fix all that. Uh, do we want to wait till the puppies grow up? Maybe. Maybe. Should I grab that advanced component while we can? Okay. Um. Get a production specialist to another beam. Always feel compelled to have human primacy. Yeah, it's really good. It's very, very good. No wing conditions. You don't go for the spaceship with the world either. You can see why not everyone would feel that way. You think they'll add a wind condition for the Steam one? I, I've been following his uh, updates lately, so I don't know. He's talked about it. Uh, Nibiru. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you, Nibiru. Hopefully I'm getting that right. I think I'm getting it right. I've heard it pronounced on somewhere before. Ancient aliens or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but thank you. I appreciate it. Those shows are always talking about like Egyptian gods and goddesses and them being aliens and stuff. Fellowship Good comedy though, if you like, uh, if you like watching comedy. Uh, Major. Thank you for using Twitch Prime here too. Like I said, account's name is a tier one sub. So financially support the stream. Very much appreciate it. Thank you, Major and Nibiru. Hmm. How long until these puppies are full grown? How's it going, puppy? How's it going? 8.7%. Hmm. How long does it take them to reach adulthood? Not sure. Kind of try to sell Plasteel. I think Bolt Good Ships and Exotic. Exotic Traders and I think Bolt Good Ships will have Plasteel too, if I remember right. Or maybe it's Exotic Ships for that too, but Exotic definitely can. Why not both? Yeah, that's what I usually do too. Supremacy and Human Primacy. Randy was, uh, what, what is up with this? We've had this for two streams now where Randy tries to kill us in the beginning. So we have a lot of events right as soon as the stream happens. And then we have like just a couple hours to do whatever we want. Pineapple Bot would like to offer you 5,000 new subs for the low price of 99.99. That's a good deal. No. <laughs> Side dangerous. You have to have a challenge where you can live forever. I'm sure that makes it a kind of game. We'll see. Door Fortress? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I liked Auction Not Included as well, and it didn't really have a... I mean, the end was like getting a dupe to the furthest meteor, and that was like... It, you know? You always set your own win condition. Yeah, so I'd try Factorio. I'm gonna try Project Zomboid on my days off. Well, hopefully. I was gonna do it last week on my days off, but then I had... Uh, too much other stuff to do. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to. I gotta meet with a specialist. My doctor, or my daughter has a doctor's appointment. I have to meet with the bank people again. It's all a pain. It's all a pain. Research conditions. <laughs> Snack is pregnant again. Again, snack. Jeez. Mm. 
defense a lot. <laughs> Tanner, yeah, yeah, I'll be sure to tell him. It's all about networking, yeah. As adult entertainer, yeah. We finally scanned something. And it's somewhere we probably won't mind. A raid! <laughs> Uh, 21, ooh, 21 pirates, frag grenades. All right. Yeah, adaption factor is gone. Okay. Steam pop up. I'll check that towards the end of the stream. We'll do some, uh, we'll run a prediction on what it is. Thank you. I don't know who it is, but I will check it at the, um, after the room world. Uh, sister of Zidian. That's rough. They're going to prepare for a while. Do they have low shields? I don't see low shield on that group. Although I do see some Molotovs and... Oh, there's a low shield. Okay. Uh, was there any melee? Uh, one melee in that group. Just one melee. Okay. Um, oh, I didn't see that one yet. I was hidden behind his parka or whatever. So there's two low shields. Oh no, another raid. Wait, wait, they're enemies. Eat the low shield for us, come on. Shoot, shoot the Jura. Oh my God, they, they attacked at the exact same two points. There's a low shield gone. Blessed run. Okay, one low shield did not get popped, but one did, so that's gonna help a bit. <laughs> they just stopped fighting. All right, so the ones with the low shield are coming now. more fighting. All right, so it's just this group we have to deal with. Low shield's kind of in the middle, so might actually have to do it. I put a shell for the green on it. This is not um, this is not considered a room, so it'll deteriorate out here if we don't leave it. And I want to be able to switch like this. So I want her to be able to throw this to get rid of the low shields. And pick that up. Okay. 
Good. Shelf makes it a room. Uh, the shelf doesn't make it a room. The shelf makes it not deteriorate for not being in a room. All right, four raid groups. I'm pretty lucky there. Now we kind of know the size of uh, the raids that are happening right now. So, do you have anyone that we have to try to save? Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay, everyone, everyone died. Everyone died. Can I screw up or something? No. Uh, so what it what it does, the AI doesn't screw up. The thing it's talking about, about pathing, happens with the AI of your character's pathing. They'll sometimes ignore their needs. They have a job at the edge of the map. They'll ignore it and they can have breakdowns or die, even though they're supposed to stop before they get there and, and eat and turn around or whatever. That's the main thing. There are some benefits and some uh, detriments of playing on a big map. Some of the benefits are that you have more resources on the map as a whole. Raids that spawn on the edge have longer to get to you. If a, um, like, uh, poison ship lands, odds are you don't have to worry about it because unless it's close, it'll never reach you sort of thing with a poison ring. On the other hand, though, to go out and get things on the edge of the map is a very long uh, journey. You have to go out and stop something like, oh, there's someone. You have to go out and stop like a met cluster or something. Okay. Um, it can take a really, really long time to get out there and do it. Uh, let's see. Ansa, you come on. There's some other benefits and downsides to big map versus smaller map. I usually play on 225 or 275. But uh decided to do a larger map for this one, and it's actually made things harder so far. Alright. So we are required to try to help this person. Oh. Alright. They are gone. <laughs> Why is the tunnel not built up? What tunnel? This one? Or this one? Oh, Mark, welcome in. It's KM, welcome in. The left one will cause it'll just get destroyed over and over. This is where breachers come from if they spawn in the south or in the west. So if I rebuild this, breachers are just going to destroy the whole thing. So it's only built enough to where infestations won't spawn here. So that way we only have to rebuild a couple things. So what happened to the huge settlement we built? We finished that run. We beat it on Sunday. This is a new run. That run ended on Sunday. So that's why it's not built up, because breachers will just keep breaking through. That's where they come through. You can beat this game. Yes, there's four different ways to get to the credits right now in this game. We launched a ship. We built and launched a ship, got to the credits. And won. Get rid of these where they rot. Usually I would have ripped off the metal from their bodies and smelted them, but you can continue the colony after the credits if you want. Yep. Well, in all the scenarios aside from the Arco Nexus, you can do that. Arco Nexus, it kind of does a save state before the screen. You just go back to that. I open the Ancient Angel. The Ancient Angel is somewhere in the mountains, so probably not. What's the other three? You can either build a ship on your map yourself and launch it. Two is ship to the stars. You would travel to the ship, uh, a down ship. Let's see where it is on ours. Um, where is it? Right here. So you travel to the down ship, you repair it, you protect it, repair it. And uh, then you get to the credits that way. The third way is a royalty victory, where you get someone up to the count or countess rank. The Stellart comes to take you guys to a glitter world. You protect them for 14 days, and then you get to the credits. And the fourth way was added with uh, ideology, and it's the Arco Nexus. Very long quest chain uh, with a kind of disappointing ending. I won't, I won't say the exact ending if people are still trying to get there, but 
Uh, I have a playthrough of all of those. Although, you know what? I don't have a Travel to the Ship playthrough up on YouTube. I should do one of those to get it up on YouTube. I mean, not the only reason, but I haven't done one of those in a long time. Uh, but yeah, those are the three or the four current ways in the game with DLCs to get to the credits. How would you rate the different win conditions from least to most favorite? Uh, my favorite is building the ship and launching it. My second is hosting the Royal. Third is traveling to the ship. And fourth is the Arco Nexus because it's so disappointing. <laughs> You're an ancient danger. I have a Royal Ascent series. The 20 year Randy run does both victories at the same time that existed then. Uh, so I built a ship and I hosted the Noble or the Royal at the same time and it stacked the raids. Uh, Thunderbolt, been watching Transhumanist on YouTube. Been a great experience so far. The Transhumanist run is more like... It's more like four months back now or something, but yes, thank you. Thank you for watching it. No matter when you watch it, it, it helps. Uh, and as long as you like it. So thank you for letting me know. Yeah, it's pretty far behind. So. Yeah. so they did destroy one of the turrets, huh? Alright. Notorious Animals, 27 Wild Mega Slaws. 27 Mega Slaws would kill us. It's not a yellow quest, you don't have to do it. Getting a Recon Helmet would be really nice, though. We're going to need to do Uranium for the ship. Um, We can also just hunker in our base. But if we accept this, we have to keep, we have to keep this person. Transhumanist was that far back, yeah. Yeah, we've done some playthroughs since then. We done the we did the high wealth mountain base playthrough. We did um, the tundra playthrough, and we did five Igor playthroughs. So it's been a while. Yeah. Uh, what if they're terrible? Twenty seven. We know nothing about him. Trader. They're gonna be so confused. Yeah, I think so. No, I can't just send him to another place in this playthrough. No, we have to keep him even if I don't like him. Um, it's gonna make raids bigger too. Well, let's accept him. He's in danger. He's being hunted. Oh, this is just to draw the animals. My bad. I thought it was the one where they're uh, running to your map. I see. It's just the draw away ones, yeah. All right. I thought it was the uh, uh, the one where they're in, they're in need of help, so I think we're fine. Twenty seven mega slaws, yeah. I think we'll be okay. Um, how was these flew on our on our mare? So we're just gonna have to. Close that. Let's go ahead and do it now. I don't have to rush over there. And just in case of breakdown, I might want to do two more while that's happening. Oh, door, the door. It'll be me extra mean to pawns in the next playthrough after having to do this. Uh... No, me, no. All right, so I'll have to just uh, remember to break those down once they're here. So what kind of map tile was that on the ship? Maximum level reach. It's actually on a temperate forest. Hmm. Interesting. Shiloh, thank you for the tier three. <laughs> thank you, Shiloh. I know you said the other day you were gonna do that. It's like this weekend. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. <laughs> thank you for the tier three. Much love to Shiloh. Comments and all that good stuff. Thank you, Shiloh. Going lonely, welcome in. Hold door the door. 
Three melee, check hell, see one scar, call him Sacrifice Mule. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Big base, going home, watching. Blue just listening. Yeah, yeah, there is. I had some extras for uh, refugees and things like that. This is a actually a makeshift prison. Those guns are all bio-coded, which will break them down. I'm at supply ship. beer so you guys don't drink beer apparently i'm just i'm just making it so they don't do any drugs this one <laughs> beer is a drug there's a number of caskets in the ships the stars i'm i might try to launch everyone i haven't decided either we can keep some people here to spread the word throughout the planet or we can try to launch everyone i'm not sure which one's the best one to do thematically Prison is definitely a war cry. <laughs> the prisoners are like, ooh, if I can only pick up that plastic sword, but I can't because it's not mine. <laughs> I can break out of this prison. But that sword belongs to someone else, and that would be stealing. The royal victory would be an easy way to launch everyone. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Tempting. It's tempting. If we get an if we get a an aesthetic that just joins, maybe. Maybe I'll start going that route. That way you don't have to worry about a uh, fancy bedroom or anything. A cat animal trainer off yeah, that's what we were saying, yeah. Send deaf a cat animal trainer. Oh, look at that! They won't even come up here with it completely walled. Interesting. Huh. I wonder if as soon as I remove that, they'll come to that door. Seem kind of confusing. Is it worth it? Yeah, they are coming. Uh, I don't really think it is. I never make it because I don't think it's worth, but... Can't activate it. It's bionically prevent you from using it unless you're coded to it. Yeah, yeah. I know it's not just like a... It's not just like a label maker on it. <laughs> oh, that label maker says that sword is John so well. But it's funnier that way. There's nobody in the tile. Packs just chill somewhere. There we go. Now we got some defense out there. Why? Why is it always leather? Blade will be running for sure, yeah. I'd like to get some more refugees. Oh no! They cornered our rhino! I forgot you were our rhino. That's sad. Becoming a beige join. Oh my god. So that already happened once when we had a bunch of animals outside the base and we had an auto join. We had to try to save them. Oh, we actually survived. Good job. Way to go. So much heavy fur. Well, you gotta remember 82% of them or whatever will just insta rot because of Scaria, even if we could use the fur. Or even if we could butcher them. So Scaria was added in uh, 1.2, and you'll see that these have Scaria on 500% or on losing his fun, gives them an 82% chance to just insta rot as soon as they die. Nice guys, let rhinos handle their own business. Sorry, rhino. 
He took a Mega Sloth with him, though. For all the blood. Wow, he really did take him with him. RG's nice. It's like three, yeah. It's kind of interesting they're spreading out like this, too. That's actually more protective than it would be otherwise. Should we be able to eat Scaria meat? Yeah, you can eat things that have the plague, but you can't eat things that have Scaria. What's up with that? It was an animal social fight, so... All the friggin' Mega Sloth. Could make another one of these sometime. Uh, Exhibition Discord will get you the link if you type it in chat. Alright, at the end of the research tree. Uh, when we start this? Thursday? Wow. Less than three streams. We're almost done researching. Uh, yeah, we're going to do that festival. I guess I'll wait till these are uh, done. Um, I never checked this. Let's see if we can hit there. I think we can. So I think I'll put like that. Streams are two time champion. That's right. I had to save that part of the bod. I think they're already starting to leave. Good guy, yeah, he's feeding people rice, chilling in the sand. That's right. We are good to others. We don't do any evil, but like I was talking about yesterday, you wouldn't show up for some kind of humanitarian, uh, you know, trip to help people and then complain about the conditions or something. Show up in Ethiopia and you're like, I'm here to help. And they, they show you your hostel, this little no window, like hut with 10 beds crammed into it and all they have to eat is corn paste or something and you're like whoa 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 <laughs> i'm sorry i'm heading back home you wouldn't <laughs> i was gonna help you but i can't live in these conditions good luck heading back to the airport send the rest 10 out of 10. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Observer, 15 months. Everything's going. It's current Rimworld challenge. You're trying to complete. Doing okay. Uh, current Rimworld challenge is the good guys run. The do no evil run. Explanation run will give you more information if you want it. But we're basically playing completely opposite of how I usually do. <laughs> so... That's pretty much the theme. Force myself to play completely different than what I usually do. Common to cook. Oh no. Gotta get a uh, trade caravan going as soon as these are off the map. I'm starting to head out. So. Starting to head out. We're also gonna need to get the location of the computer core. Uh, I'm actually curious if deconstructing the, the landed ship will give you a core or not. That's a long journey, though. That's a really long journey. Even the horses and the roads and stuff. And we can't make, uh, like, survival meals or anything, so they'd be eating raw rice the whole way. Berries. It's probably not worth just to save on buying the location. Uh, you two requested a good person run? Um, 
Not, not directly. It has been mentioned before, and then I put up a poll of like three or four different shorter runs that I was going to do between Igor and um, Oscar, and this one won the poll. I feel like it wouldn't. Yeah, I'm not sure. I've never, I've never deconstructed the, um, the computer core, so I don't know if you actually get the, the item back from, from that or not. Never tried it. Of course, we get a lot of advanced components, components, stuff like that to bring back home, but that's a long trip. All right, we did it. Zidian, that is yours. Can't believe Cannibal Granny didn't win. Um, yeah, this one had about 60% of the votes. Cannibal Grannies had about 30%. And then the tiny map had like 10%. So. What's Oscar? Oscar puts out patch notes every few days that randomly change something in the game. He's like Randy Random on steroids. He can literally, literally change any of the coding in the game. So when we were testing him out for like an hour, he did things like, we had a patch one one day that was like, you get a little blue thing that patches, new patches are live and you click on it. And there was one that was like, SMGs deal four X damage, but the bullets travel at 10% speed. Uh, the Labradors now live 437 years, but Yak's move speed has been reduced to 0 0.01. Like just crazy stuff. And he can literally just kill the run. He can do things like, all right, hunger, uh, hunger rate now is 300%, but eating speed is 0.1. It's like, oh, I guess I'm just, I'm just dead. So it should be a really silly run. We will understand how fun the tiny map run will be. I'll do that one too, for sure. Just research everything, keep a weapon locker and a freezer. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was talking about that. It's gonna be crazy. It's going to be a crazy one. All right. Is there any steel that's left relatively close or safe-ish? Not really. We can break this down and grab some of it. I think that's probably our safest bet. And then we can get a smelter up after that. Oscar, the good guy run, really doesn't catch you. It's here to support though. Yeah, thank you. This stuff, this is, um, are you, did you actually find some steel? This is silver. This stuff would break down into, um, chunks. So we have to smelt it. Is that what you were seeing? Yeah, that's, that's silver, yeah. It was a silver meteorite, actually. I think we're gonna mainly get plasteel, right? Yeah. So you're gonna save our ship? I don't know, yeah. Um, I'm not opposed to doing some modded runs again sometime, but there's like, there's several more lightly or no mod runs that I wanna do. And I keep adding more. In fact, yesterday when I was eating, I had an idea for a new run that I'd like to do. So there's a lot of exploits uh, with Rimworld that I actually don't do. I usually tell people about them, but there's some cheeses and exploits that I just don't do. And I'm thinking about doing a run that is just as cheesy and exploity as I possibly can using everything I know just to show them. And I'll even do it uh, with like a really hard ideology to kind of not really balance it, but to, uh, to compensate. And so I'm thinking like maybe blind nudist with every cheese and every exploit that I know <laughs> the mozzarella run. It'll be just, uh, it'll be a display of a bug list for Tynan to fix. Uh, I did some RNG runs, but I had to stop doing them because Darkest Dungeon 2 came out and I switched over to that for a little while. Um, or I wanted to stop because of that. And then uh, I haven't gotten back to them yet. But that's on the list as well, yeah.
Rim Atomics. Yeah, I never played with that either. What are RNG runs? RNG is I randomized everything. So I took the first random pawn. I did a random map seed, a random, a random world seed, a random map, and randomized all ideology and all precepts. So there was some really crazy stuff. Do the royal ending on that one. It can be royals with cheese. <laughs> Do that. Any gap between Twitch and YouTube? No, that one we just never finished because I ended up switching over to Darkest Dungeon 2 for a while. All right, we're going to go send out a trade caravan. We're getting uh, too much stuff, too much wealth to sit around. All right. So, shiz. These puppies aren't full grown, but we're going to send the ones in here. Kim Fuel, we'll send, yeah, we'll send that. And the Devil Strand. Uh, let's see. And we are going to send a bunch of rice. Quite a bit of rice. Okay. That should be a, a fair amount. All right. Hit the road, shiz. See you soon. Pawns had to be named cheese related product as well. <laughs> you know what they call a Big Mac in France? A Big Mac. Prime for puns, hope one would win. No pun intended. Heard of this one, R. That's just called karma, L. You can't just say jerk things all the time, put a kappa behind it, and then expect to live. <laughs> Chubnuts dead? Chubnuts wasn't in this run. So, no. Goodbye, shiz bob. Have fun with your horse and puppies. Come on, puppies, you're holding things up. You know what? Shiz bob is incapable of um, violence. They've been really important this run. There's a lesson to be learned there. And the lesson is, in a normal run, I would have killed them and gotten a better pawn that could have been even more useful. That's the lesson. Alright, how much steel do we get? 59. That's the lesson. So once we have enough steel for this, um, I think I'm, man, where is the closest steel? That's a, one of the problems with these mountain maps like this. A lot of the steel is just hidden away. There's like some way down here. Look, like, look at this. We actually already own the steel. Oh my God. I might go get it. It's so dangerous though. What? There was a collapse. Oh. That's where the pirate drop landed. Ugh. Are you good at mining? Oh, right, you're, you're an animal whisperer. We still have not found a lung. Just by followers. They'll bring you more steel. Cat in the box is either dead or alive. You know the one. I don't know the I don't know that one. It doesn't ring a bell. That was a different experiment, Adam. That doesn't work. Cat, cat, 
doesn't matter. Go get that steel on the edge of the map. It'll be fine. All right. Man, he's bad at trading. Like, really bad at it. Really, really bad at it. All right, we got lungs, a stomach, a heart. Come on, guys. Give us lungs. Ooh, they have another charge rifle. I don't have enough money for it. Hmm. Which steel could you haul back with the horse? More than enough to make the smelter. Which is the main thing. And then we'll just bring the uh, silver back. Okay. And then next time we'll come back. Uh, how long is the restock, I wonder? Hmm. What? They won't even accept the rabbit as a gift? Yeah, the horse is putting in some serious work. Game add on, it will literally just be map. <laughs> Emerald's new expansion. We've had royalty, ideology, we're proud to reveal today map. Be yeah. like Rimworld cartography? No. Had to start with an M. It's Rimworld map. Yeah, we'll send them back. Uh, let's look at the restock time here. Oh, yeah, they just restocked. Actually, they might have since we just left, actually. Actually, actually. Let's see how many times we can say that. No! <laughs> we have to help them. Not only do we have to accept the quest, we actually have to go try to help them. Or else our people will be upset. And it goes against what we're doing. Charge tectonics or something. What's the world map? Separate and fuse in real time. <sighs> Alright. I sure love trying to give L Tech shirts, yeah. Okay, it's in an okay spot at least this time. Steel meteor, yes. Where is that? Oh, it's too far away. That's not very good cover, but <sighs> it's really tempting to just mine over there. <laughs> Osprey DLC. Yeah, I don't know. Chizabob, I'm probably gonna have you not enter the map, so we'll have you go to here. Shenanigans. What? No. Why? 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 I'm not offended. I'm just gonna save people. Oh god. It might end up being just that. Hopefully not, though. Hopefully not. Hey, Foos, welcome in. YouTube is uh, pretty far behind. About three months. What if they come from that side? Mm. Very well, might. But yeah, thank you for coming over. Thank you for watching over there. Five hours. All right. Dragon Mom, where are you going? I see. I see. Said your geography tectonics with. Oh no, yeah. It, I uh, I speak pretty dryly about most things. Oh, they're all friggin' melee. They're all 
all melee. We might actually die to this. Sucks. So now our people are going to be really unhappy. We lost rep. I mean, there, there's no way we could, uh, could do that one, though, was what we had. They just swarm. So, uh, we had to do for so long. Time for a break. It's always a nice feeling. How many of these were Empire? Got to bury five of them. That sucks. Dragon Mom always lost her arm during that too. Oh my God, Charn. Missing an ear. There he was, almost lost his hand. Just barely getting hit too. Well, that feels bad. What plants in the animal pain? Those are um, dandelions. Dandelions, um, they're not as good as they used to be. Oh crap, we used the good medicine on them, whoops. Dandelions aren't as good as they used to be for grazing. They used to be able to be eaten immediately. Now they have to grow to 10%, but it doesn't take them too long to get to 10%. So if this person falls down, we have to try to save them. Does burying affect our mood of this ideology? Only if it's our own colonists, so it's kind of our own. It's our own imposed rule for this. They're probably going to fall. An ugly pessimist. All right, come on. You murdered our friends and tried to kill us. Now it's time to heal you back to health and let you go. <laughs> back to full health and let you go. While you're here, we'll try to convert you into a good person. Yeah. Good news is we did get a little bit of, you know, steel and a little bit opponents so hopefully when shiz gets back we'll have enough to make the smelter finally what's animal calm witchcraft i know <laughs> you nice guys hard feels like you're making a different it's one conversion at a time it is tough yeah i mean compared to how i usually play uh, it's it's it, it's hard to make myself do it Uh, when Shiz gets back, we'll also do a ceremony and try to up mood to compensate for that failed quest. Lots more medical experience in a good guy playthrough, though. Yeah, there is that. Faction. Okay. There is that.
Being all nice here is not been maxing at all. No, it's not. That is the truth. That is the truth. All right, we'll get the smelter done. Uh, then we'll get find this biocoded stuff and whatnot smelted. That'll give us a little bit more steel. Then we'll get ready to go trade again. These guys we can cremate because they were enemies. So we'll get that done too. Who's infection? Dragon Mom. You've had a rough life, Dragon Mom. Let's go ahead and uh, preach health on you. Just get you over this faster. Throw a bunch of nice things at people being mean to us. They'll stop trying to murder us. Only. <laughs> Release converts. Keep your ideology if they come back. I don't know. I've never, yeah, I've never checked that. I could uh, make their name all caps while they're here. I suppose. Like, well, I have to recruit them to do it, I suppose, but. Can't test it too much in this one. The smelter's done. All right, nice. So we're going to set to smelt weapon. We're going to allow biocoded only. Do forever. There we go. Then we're going to smelt weapon again. And for this one, let's go ahead and clear everything and then we'll go in and choose what we want. Axes, breach axe, all this stuff. Um, modest a new subscriber. Come, steal yourself. We are building an I see blue. Uh, Hamelon, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Who'd you get? Dynamite. I'm Hunter 2. BD. In TKM. Ladies. I'm gonna go with Sone. Alpine Kitty. Big Cat. Gnome. Scandalous. And Night Owl. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Much love to Abalone. So I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I think... In my head, I really want to say abalone, but I'm pretty sure that's not, not correct. But it might be. Maybe it's abalone. I don't know. <laughs> but either way, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Um, The rest of this, I think. Uh, do auto pistol. All action at this stage is fine. <laughs> Maybe it's abalone. That's what I was saying, yeah. What happens at sub goal? I'm just really appreciative of it. More than normal. Uh, we used to do a giveaway. I haven't, I need to set it back up, but we used to do a giveaway every time we hit sub goal. I plan on doing that this year too. It's just, it's got a lot of crap I have to get done right now. It's, it's on the to-do list. It's just not the top like three things I need to do. What's the YouTube? Save streams at work? You see the day? That's awesome, yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching, listening, all those things. Man, I might even... Yeah, I'm going to do that to the minigun, too. Alright. Uh, do forever. Now we'll add a bill to smelt apparel. Uh, allow tainted you only. join us or die, master. Another one. Ah, King Loser. Then we give sub to Abalone Abalone. Uh, to Abalone... Thank you, King Loser. <laughs> Ten gift subs, not a sub yourself. King Loser, fix that. Yeah, Ten gift subs before a sub. Thank you. Uh, smelt apparel, tainted forever. All right, let's do another one. For this one, we will smelt um anything that's at fifty-one percent or worse. And then. Smelt apparel. A generous bestowal. Sav, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you, Sav. Let's see if I can remember the right button. Yay. All aboard the hype train. Thanks, Sav. I hit two buttons on accident, but it still works. Um, You were just if it was for King Loser doing that? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Let's see. 
What else do I want to smelt in here? Um, I think I'll just clear all. Armor, we'll put flak pants. Um, plate armor. I think that's probably about it. I think that's fine. Headgear, it's fine as is right now. Um, I think the slice cap can be made out of stone or uh, metal. Anyway, that's that's good enough. Um, actually, no, uh, the rest will will probably just trade off or something. Do forever, and then metal slag. Do forever. All right, perfect. What's Phoenix armor? Uh, I will show you. Phoenix armor, I believe, was added to royalty, so it's um uh. That one's the Locust. Where's Phoenix? That's Grenadier. Uh, Phoenix armor. There we go. So Phoenix armor is a form of cataphract armor that's a little bit lower uh, in defense. But it has some specialties like the others. Um, so this one specifically, it's less protected than standard cataphract, like I said. It's very flame resistant. And it has a flame bolt launcher. Limited air ammo on it. So it's it's really good, like uh it's very expensive armor. But anyway, it's good at surviving fires and causing fires pretty much. Burning people and staying alive in fire. The marine armor one is the grenadier one, which kinda has like a grenade launcher on its shoulder basically. And then the recon armor is the locust armor. Um, which basically has a built-in jump pack. So those special variants are a little less uh, defensive or have slightly lower defensive stats, but then make up for it with that special feature of that kind of armor. Trevor group needing a village burning armor like that though? Yeah, probably not. So. Combat supplies. I think we're gonna do one of those uh, ceremonies here shortly. I think we're gonna do that and then head back over to trade some more. Do I want to see the fire armor? End up with prestige trooper armor on your dusters. Maybe travel too light though. What's a good way to deal with sieges? The best way to deal with sieges is just to have your own mortar. But if a siege happens before a mortar, there's a few other options depending on what you have at your disposal. Side casting is really good, uh, both just depending on if, what side cast you have, but even things like uh, the animal berserk one can be good. You can, so let's say you have a siege that's setting up here. You can actually use animal pulse from side casting from here and the circle will overlap and you can enrage uh, animals in the area, if there are any, maybe I should do... The elephants are gone, so I can't really show that example. So you can do that um, to help. You can call in allies to go help. If you don't have any of those options, you have to actually go fight them. Um, it depends on which weaponry you have. If you have a long-range weapon, like a sniper or bolt action, and they don't, you can have someone snipe their bullets. Um... It's usually better to snipe the bullets overall. They're harder to hit, but they can't be repaired like the mortar. You can try to snipe the mortar, and uh, but they're going to keep repairing it as you're hitting it. Or you can try to snipe the people that are on the mortar to force them. Um, but yeah, the best way is just hit it with your own mortar. With sieges, um, humanoid sieges, the uh, flame, the incendiary shells are pretty good because... They will panic, they'll try to put out the fire, the fire will spread, hopefully it'll blow up uh, stuff there. But it typically doesn't leave very much left behind for you to get back from them. So that's one downside to it. So I usually use high explosive shells and just try to hit. When you have a good hit on them, they will stop the siege and come attack your base. But, I mean, if you have an animal pulser, you can close your base and use that. If you've got allies, you made a comms console, you can call them. 
call people in to help, like I mentioned, but it can be really rough before you get your own mortar. You think human sieges should come with high shield packs? I don't know. Auto mortars already do that. They're scary enough. I wonder if there's a mod that adds that, though. <laughs> Alright, we are going to uh, head out on another trading trip here soon. So, for the clothes, I'm going to put these on... Uh, only Dragon Mom can do these. And then on these... Um... Simple helmet, only Dragon Mom. Flag vest, only the Dragon Mom. Heavy SMG, only Dragon Mom. And then that allows us to open this back up for Ice Team. For him to help with that. Okay, now let's do that ceremony. Uh, as long as she's good now. Are you good? Yeah, she's good. So that only put us to 78. Three pews would get us up a bit higher, but... Oh, whoops. I didn't start at the altar. 98%, that's good enough. I don't want... I'm not spending three pews for 2%. Be able to work at home? It's weird because I'm also working, yeah. Fun job, it's still a job. Sea traders don't have very good discipline. Sometimes you get lucky, you shoot them like once with a bullet action, they're like, nope, screw this, we're heading to the base. <laughs> Do they consider playing poker good, but billiards evil? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Uh, no. None of our recreation is evil. It's the only one I, it's smaller footprints I showed in there. Your fancy hats for the festival of life. Oh yeah, they're they're gonna survive. Yeah. Hey, it was so good that goats joined us. Have you ever had a party at your house that was so fantastic that goats just showed up? Oh, it's so cheesy. Never party. Stop pulling you. <laughs> Funny you should mention that. The bleeding edge of N1. That's pretty well. That's a pun I haven't heard. clown it's what you do <laughs> I'm not sterilizing them that was cheese you can force them to come to the sleeping spot without having to send someone to the edge of the friggin map to get them immediately by setting up a medical uh, order and they'll just come they'll come in <laughs> uh, Trisha Thank you for the sub to Quantum Nelly. Is that for that pun? <laughs> Thank you, Trisha. Very much appreciate. Why do I keep clicking that? I need to stop. Again. Party again. Let's see if more goats show up. It's be a Tennessee thing. <laughs> See how they take off as soon as I do that? Oh, I better go get sterilized. Sheep are kind of like goats. Pretty, pretty close. Yeah. Thank you, Trisha. 
Putting the honeycomb in the overhead mountain. Is that putting the insect spawn? Yes, it is. Yep. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, okay. He can't sterilize them because I don't have it set to uh, allow medicine. All right, now it's time for another trip. We should have set all of them up to have animals join. That's awesome. Attack immediately, multiple angles. Tribals. Stop trying to rest and just go there. <laughs> Don't want to destroy that shelf. Oops. We gotta try to save them. They survive. There was three groups. I missed a group. There's actually more raiders than I thought. A good guys run it is yep trouble we're mad so much provides you tony from hotline Mi i was just talking about hotline Mi miami the other day uh crazy game very unique game i haven't played it in forever but such a crazy game crazy crazy game the best sort of way did the other guys die what other guys did you have the igor run no we finished that on sunday Finish that on Sunday. All right. Check these ones out. Bloodlust Slowpoke. Uh, oh, Komodo is fully healed. So... Could go ahead and get rid of them. Yeah, we'll go ahead and release them. Not fully converted. Wait, what is their heathen ideology? Nature primacy? Oh, okay, they're fine. Bloodlust jogger. Hmm. Alright, rehabilitate those two. So, between the stream and the YouTube videos. Oh, the YouTube video is three months behind. So, if you're talking about... The Igor run, we finished Igor on Sunday. If you're talking about the uh, Fluid Ideology run from YouTube, we finished that one three months ago. We made different materials. There's some pretty good mods. I haven't used one in a long time, but one of the ones I used to use was, um, uh, it added a lot of leather armors, like very specific uh, leather armors, not just like catch-all. And um, a lot of them were uh, also shaped like uh, animal heads and stuff, but uh, it, was, it was pretty cool. I don't remember the name of it. Maybe just literally leather armors. Also used to use one that added shields that I really liked. Makes a lot of sense. So you get attacked by tribals and they would have, you know, like a spear in one hand and then like one of those, um, what are the names of those like Zulu shields, the big leather shields in the other, which was pretty cool. 
I haven't used that in a long time. Bloodlust Jogger, they're a great hauler, one of your favorite melee fighters. Bloodlust is really, really good for mood. Bloodlust Kind is really incredible. I think we actually have a Bloodlust Kind somewhere in this run. Or maybe that's who died. Oh, I think it's who died. Maybe. My man, Batman. How does Kind work with Bloodlust? It it means they won't start a social fight. So even though they're five times more likely, five times zero is still zero. By God, they'll finish a social fight if they're not going to start one. It's interesting you can even get that roll. You know? Surprising. Most charitable act so far. Uh, we had some beggars come ask for all of our silver. We gave it to them. We've had colonists... Uh, had people ask to join that we had to accept. Lots of things like that. Let's burn the beer. Don't start. You can't finish. How much is all? At that time, it was like 400 and something. Flimman promised new neighbors to kill them with kindness. Tim's murder with a machete called kindness. Gotta keep bloodlust spawns, yeah. yeah. All right. Let's head on over. Shizma Bob has made this trip a dozen times. He knows the way. He knows the way. Devil Strand, uh, we're gonna take quite a bit of that, I think, actually. We're gonna take, let's take like 400, make sure we can buy what we want this time. Kim Fuel, we're getting a little low on that. We'll, uh, we'll keep that. Keep that. Okay, um, and we'll sell them a little more rice as well. There we go. That'll be quite a bit. Cheers, Bob. Oh, we need to name the horse. I keep forgetting about that. I was talking about that yesterday. We would name these. All right, Mayor One, you have been really important to this colony. Let's give you a name. Uh, oh, I didn't mark these off. <laughs> it's Pothole, named by Major Hertz. Now, you know what? That might fit. Because this, this horse has been out on the road with Shizma Bob. Maybe there was some funny event that happened. Got the name Pothole. The road horse, yeah. So on Central Florida, they were separated from your people. Sad times. Sad times. When you get back home at Shizabob, we will uh, have a festival for you. A festival. Can you bring the rest of those home with you? No space. There will be soon. All right, they're no longer capable of walking, but they're not healed yet, so we can't release them. How are we doing on making friends as well? Uh, we still should ally these guys, right? These ones we can't. So there's one, there's still one place that we um, can be friendly with that we aren't yet, so. Let's check out how close are they? Holy crap, they're forever away. Hmm. Excavation seed, if you want to play on this map. Charn is idle. Major Hertz, pothole is in. 
Natalia. Just, uh, there you go. There's the seed thing you said. All is the best. Hope she lives a long, happy life. Bearing goods to local settlements. Maybe the locals. We even give her sugar cubes. Sometimes it feels good to be a good guy. <laughs> we still haven't tamed that ostrich. Hmm. How many times have we tried, I wonder? Let's go in Aspen. Welcome in. I right, gotta be ready to cancel the caravan if something happens. Yeah, I hate this bug though, where they're like, come on, one of them keeps trying to go back. No, 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 no. Alright, she's Bob out on the road again. Rare thrombos, we're gonna get a chance again. We finally got the ostrich. Good lord. I think I'm gonna keep the ostrich out here as an experiment. But like a kind one, because look how big it's pastures. Alright. We have 4.3% chance to tame these thrombos. Come on, Ansta. You got this. Oh, demo to try the fence thing. Didn't seem to do much either outdoor or indoor fencing. So I have an 11 wide clean path to the base. Breachers will st still do their thing. And you tried it with an animal in as well. Yeah, that sucks. Shiz Bob can't fight, but their bond with pothole makes up for it. So I plan for the ancient danger. The ancient danger is in the map in the mountain somewhere. So I'm just not going to worry about it. So unless this is one. I did find the very edge of some, like this. This could very well be an ancient danger because it's claimable. It's also not damaged. So there could be an ancient danger right here. I'll have to go down there and check sometime. Spread a bunch of animals around it. Pin markers, pin gates. See some images. Yeah, and it might have been, I mean, they could have obviously been wrong, right? Oh, 4.6% because he has, uh, Got higher in animal taming since then. I was really hoping it would work, but yeah, maybe it just doesn't. Maybe it just doesn't. All right. Brought you guys some goats. Not have pothole though. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Shield court. There's that good charge rifle. I think I'm gonna get it while I'm here. Watch us get ambushed on the way back. Get taken from us. It already happened once on the way here. Oh, did you guys get a lung restocked? No, it's still the same stuff. Shizubob has been worth so much in this run. I'll just, yeah, I'll let it fade. And then when it gets a little bit longer, I'll cut it short when the brown is out a little bit more. I don't mind. I, I, you know, I, don't, I don't care at all. I go in public, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't look terrible. I think the purple looked better though. The purple, the nice thing about the purple is it didn't really, um... oh, whoops. I thought I did. 
uh, when I had the purple, it didn't like fade to blonde. It just got a little bit lighter. And then the dark brown that my hair normally is uh, kind of green behind it. And it looked almost like it was an intentional thing. Yeah, I'm going to sell those. Good catch. Thank you. Only knights in silver. This one, not so much. Thank you, Mantis. You want to draw shiz and pothole? That'd be awesome, yeah. Um, so, speaking of, uh, it didn't happen until last year. But uh, last year, someone was like, I can't believe you don't have any fan art. And I was like, fan art? It was a weird concept for me. I don't know why. Maybe it's uh, imposter syndrome or something, right? I was like, fan art? No, no, no. I, you know, fans. I, that's not something I have. Fans. And they were like, I can't. I'm going to draw you some some fan art. And I was like, all right, I guess if you want to. And they did. And it turned out pretty awesome. So it's over on my website. Uh, if anyone wants to see. I think it's just adamverseverything.com slash art. Um, is the link to it. But... I was really, really shocked. But anyway, if anyone does any art channel or not, we have a creative channel in the Discord. You can drop stuff into. We have people that uh, write songs, sing songs. Again, not just stream related or anything like that. Uh, Semi Salty Squid, who's here pretty often, paints quite a bit in like Bob Ross style and, and posts their stuff in there, which is always cool to see. So, But uh, it was extremely nice. I was I could not believe it. I ended up opening it on stream and I was like, Look at this! Someone did this! <laughs> Want to draw fan art? Yeah, that was really awesome. I was, I was, uh... I was, like, legitimately shocked that people were made those things, so... But... Alright, Ansta. How you feeling? You need to eat some? The ship is completely researched. Good lord. Look at that. Look at that. Crazy. Three streams, we finished researching the ship. <laughs> Alrighty, Insta. I think it was a 4.8% now or something. 4.6. Come on, you got this. We got a thrombo! <laughs> 4.6%. Might launch them tomorrow. Yeah, maybe. Could good guys use bionics? Um, to replace something that's been taken out in other ways. Like, I'm not going to just replace stuff. Wow. Uh... <laughs> All right. Well, we got Thrumbo. That's nice. Thing of the massive battle between the mech. Uh, no. No, nothing like that. That was a crazy battle, yeah. Biggest battle I've ever seen in RimWorld. Episode 25 of the Transhumanist run. Although, which run was it? Um, was it the, is the Tundra run we recently did where we had 1,100 tribals attacks at once? Thrumbo... I feel like I gotta keep him, keep her. All right, we'll do it. We're gonna keep this Thrumbo. We're gonna try. What's your name, Thrumbo? It's friggin' Cat. A Doctor Strange love. Hey, have you seen our cat? They're very nice. Okay. <laughs> Your cat weighs four tons and has a giant horn. Yep, that's Kitty. It's the greatest slideshow ever, yeah. It's a weird cat. <laughs> what does your kitty look like? Hey, Dr. Tinman. It's been a little while. Lemon, welcome in. Downside is this thrombo is going to eat a lot of food. So 
Oh, there's a weird cat outside. Alright, where's that new charge rifle? Skill trainer, Shizabod, we're gonna use that. Sace. Charge rifle. Important ingredient for the chili. <gasps> what? We didn't get this crunchy tortilla trip strips. Now you have to eat something else, for real. Goldfish crackers, I said. It's um, it's a chicken enchilada chili that we top with crunchy tortilla strips. It's really good. I already started cooking it. I'm sure it'll be good without them. I'm sure it'll be good. All right. Let's see. Not so. You can have this. Uh, drop this one that. Okay. I told Shizuba we'd do a festival if they get, if they made it back. I mean, when they made it back. So in celebration of Shizuba Bob's return, a new charge rifle, and the taming of our Thrumbo, we will have a beautiful ceremony. Taco soup, fry up tortilla strips, top them with you. It's good. It's good. Put noodles in chili. No, no. Uh, noodles in chili is more like American goulash, which is a thing. It's very similar to chili, but it's, uh, it has noodles. But no, we don't put noodles in any of our chilies. Living your head rent free. Here we go. Wow. I always try to, well, I, I try to usually do this at night as well. Beautiful. And you have to watch it every time. Yeah, and then there's Chili Mac, of course, too. Yeah, which is different. So it hits the mountain. It just goes... We can't see. It's foggy there. Yeah, there's other ways to have it. The five-way thing. Yeah, they have that even at, uh, like, Steak and Shake, right? I think just traditional chili usually does have noodles. I would say. Best and covered with cheese and eaten with tortilla chips like a dip. Mm. You guys are making me hungry. Can't believe we have a thrombo. 4.6% chance. Well, awesome. Hmm. Get rid of some of this other junk. Could just destroy it. I think I'm going to send Shizabob out again. Thermo Keeper? I think so. I think I'll keep it. So your fluid ideology, generally really nice animation. Yeah, it's, it is. It's really nice. And it just takes a little bit of wood. The, the awesome thing too is like, you know, the Beyblade ship again. <laughs> One of the awesome things about it is, as you saw, it has like really high quality as long as you have enough people. And it's just outside. Like you don't need some kind of ritual room or something. You can even add six of them, I suppose, as long as you have enough wood to do it. It's a pretty cool one. Not the ideal placement for 10 pods. I can't decide if I want to try to send everyone or do what we said initially. Maybe to build a nice looking ship in one of the challenges. <laughs> Could I fit an oak, an actual 
kind of ship looking thing back here, I wonder. You guys have to take everyone off the planet. But then there's no one to stay behind and convert the rest of the planet to being good people, right? So I don't know. I thought about either just taking the original three that started. Um, I also thought about taking just a couple and an animal. I also thought about taking everyone. So I'm not sure. Dig a bit, maybe. Oh, gosh. Granny has been summoned. Let's see what Granny has to say about ship launches. If I remember right, my granny was one of the survivors of the Titanic. And she said the whole time the ship was going down, she had to just keep telling herself this one thing. Great job. He refused the pot. But I don't think Granny refused the pot. <laughs> Hunter Pond Colonies in the Mall to Space. Oh, God, I've done something like that, yeah. You should see the ship in the 20 year run. If you've never watched the 20 year run, it's kind of an older playthrough. But if, uh, by the way, thank you for setting up channel points and summoning Granny. Appreciate it, Guardio. If you haven't seen the 20 year run over on YouTube, we launched 69 colonists. The ship was, Im was immense. Huge. Huge. You gotta put her plants somewhere. Yeah, that's what we're talking about for sure. Insta. Training cat. Um, too recent. Bring another shot at these thrombo before they're gone. That's exactly how you sound. I think so. Come on. That 4.6 failed. That one's leaving the map. Oh, well. Good try. Good try. Got one thrombo out of it, though. It's pretty awesome. Where do you hear? Can we call the playthrough and join the stream on as old as well? Yeah, but it is. See Shazam's hair under her helmet. Hopefully not drawing her. Uh, let me check it out. All right, Shazam. Actually, you have no idea what her hair is like. Oh, look at that. She has, uh, she has pigtails. <laughs> Who knew? It could be one of those like terrible ones. <laughs> really weird hairs. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's a good one. Got DEI, welcome in. Been here early enough to catch any of the run. What's the premise of the run? Uh do no evil. We're we're good guys as much as we can be. Explanation run will tell you a little bit more, but me? No. Oh, I just came in and asked me if I had pants on. I'm not sure what's about to happen. I might have to turn off the camera. Hey, Aries. Are you on camera? Let's see. Oh, my hair is like up today. I was rushing. Aries, I'm going pink Super Saiyan today. Why are you sniffing me so much? See in the corner. Okay. <laughs> Smell like pink. What is this pink entity in my house? Conan? Oh no, not Conan. Conan here? Do you listen to Conan's podcast? I do sometimes. Conan O'Brien needs a friend. It's pretty good, actually. The downside is it takes forever to get started. 
And I know some people are going to be like, just like your stream. And those people will be banned. But anyway, <laughs> oh, that's pretty good, but it, it, it is slow getting started before he actually gets to the guest, which is kind of frustrating. Uh, asking for help. Harass settlement. Site nearby. There's a smoke spear machine. This is not a yellow quest, so we don't have to uh, accept this one, luckily, but it's pretty funny. First, that was Conan the Barbarian. I almost made a joke about between the two, yeah. Conan the Barbarian has a great stream. Oh, Tona is uh, fully... Oh, here. All right, we have uh, peeled those people. Nice. Nice. The goats. Play too much Exile. Zoe. Usually don't want to be up. No, I don't want to. Get me down. Where did I get that screaming goat? It was uh like one of those, like kind of a gag gift type thing for my wife for uh, for Christmas. I think she got it off Amazon. It's it too much. What? So, just an Amazon gift from my wife. I like goats. Sometimes. This is one that she got me a different Christmas. And she got it like a month before Christmas and hid it inside the Christmas tree. I had no idea. And it was there the whole time. And I never saw it. And then after we did gifts and stuff that Christmas morning, she was like, did you find your other gift? It's in the tree. And then I searched and it was this. Without spinning, first minute wondering how this happened. <laughs> That's real. It's a pretty good explanation, of, or I mean, description of the stream. Let's go in jail. Gold, Azrael, welcome in. Goat's roommate is not on board. Amazon's down down right now. Oh, the world's ending. Nigerian door. Goats. I like goats, yeah. Jimmy, do you want to be on camera? Nope. No, you can't get on me. Can't get on me right now. Nope. Get the third dog instead. Jimmy. All right. Might be a regional thing. Anything to torment your roommate? Wear well, cat has hats. <laughs> that seems dangerous. That seems a little dangerous. So we need 70 uranium, 280 plasteel. We need quite a bit of, um, uh... we back up now, Jimmy? Steel. Uh, how much uranium do we get for that quest? How much do we get from that quest? 60. So we need a little bit more uranium as well. Um, I gotta decide if we're gonna do any more research. You are shedding all over the place. Sh shed. <laughs> Shedding. Side hustle is cat shelter. Huh. Let's go ahead and knock out a few more researches. Did you just walk into the wall? My OnlyFans for the Forbidden Steam directory. That's right. Side hustle. My wife has left, and but she lives on in our hearts. Uh, a little bombardment skill for social. So what is this? Podokane, a psychic suppressor. Countdown four actors. This is two star. Five mech nodes. Two low shields. Mech assembler. It's quite a bit for us to deal with. Um, no high shields though, right? And there's two power cells, so it's possible we actually take this out and we get a lot of um, a lot of steel from it. So psychic suppressor means we'd have to take care of it right away. Five mech nodes, six beacons, 
And we don't really want any of the rewards at this stage, so I don't think I'm going to do that one. But. By 1981 Jeep, Space Castle, 11 pounds of lemon gummies. All with two-day shipping. Yeah, I haven't had time. That's that's on the to-do list too, but it's so far down. I, I have so much stuff I have to do right now. I pretty much I pretty much do the stream. I get off the stream and I make dinner if my wife hasn't made it. And then I work on other things all the way till bedtime. Every day. My days off, I usually go grocery shopping, and then I come home and I work all the way till bedtime. <laughs> so um I have a to-do list, but it's gonna take forever to catch it. Catch up. But that's all in there, too. The cat tree thing, yeah. Masterwork revolver. Hooray. Oh, it's all rim crimes all the time. Yeah, it usually is. Pick up anywhere. Change your life. We've thought about it. My wife actually likes looking around while we're there. You know, because it's... We have a Walmart that we grocery shop at, and so it's all super center, right? So it's grocery store and normal. She likes to, she likes to go and shop. You like them choosing your veggies, though. Yeah, I can see that. It's like apparently the person working there does not know how to pick a proper mango, that sort of thing. And my fingers off the keys. Attacking immediately. What are they? Twenty-three melee. That's a lot of melee with shield belts. Um, Christ. Um, now they're here. Rumbo. We'll heal you, just gotta get through this. Oh, that's Rumbo. Oh, it's so good that we ended up being able to tame that. Tinder Cat. Okay. Tin there. Rumbo saved us, honestly. Like, if we got overran by them, we're just dead. 22 melee pirates with good armor and shield belts. Cat. Super worth. Thank goodness. MVP. Of course, Cat's also causing us to have more raiders, but... Um, oh, crap. We're supposed to be attending to them. Yeah, it's gonna be so much more cleanup if I end up taking the metal gear off of them. Will good guys strip their dead enemies? I don't know, actually. Yeah, I carry them instead of tending. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Turrets are really helpful there too. Good morning, installing a new door at a rental property. Someone broke in and stole only a concrete mixer. 
Left appliances didn't scratch the floor. Yeah, that's really weird. I guess maybe they just really need a concrete mix. You know, I'm sure they're... I don't know. Gonna go pawn it or something, but... That really sucks, man. All right, Thrumbo. Cat is your name. Really helped us there. Much appreciated. Good job, cat. All right, Ansa is incapable of violence, right? No, 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 that's just Bob, never mind. This person ended up getting healed enough to try to get up and then Ansa put them back down. <laughs> We gotta get the stuff um, cremated. Oh, that's Defecat. He even tricked me. It's kitty corn, just like the books. Cat gets plus 50% to all stats. <laughs> that is true, yeah. Very efficient cremation. None of them dropped down it or out here today. That door done. Charns hall and the stuff. Worth all the food. It's been very helpful. So long, you probably should not bother bitching stuff. Oh, what? You have a delay in your end of a little bit? No, I gotcha. Jeff Cat also get a plus 50% to all stats. Definitely a cat, right? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's how it survived with what little it has, yeah. Oh, I keep, uh, I keep the Molotov. I don't need to. Just remembered. Get this stuff destroyed. Serve corpse. Yeah, yeah. That's one I'm not used to seeing anymore. I think it takes, what, 1,500 silver to get the location of the computer core? That seems pretty small, actually. Oh, that's got, the last one was a quest. I think that's why the last one was so big. Yeah, it's pretty small. Well, Nick, from here, you have a very good connection. Struggles, 1080, 60 on low latency mode. Raids interacting, yeah, yo, I know. Steel back. Eight advanced components, so that's what we need to start trading for. Advanced components. 
We're gonna need quite a bit to get this done. Quite a bit. Aries is here again. Always raise your yayo. Curious. That's true. Well, no permanent damage on that thrombo either. Very nice. Way to go. Already done some IRL events. The apocalypse, of course. Um, like going to like TwitchCon and things? No, I I went to BlizzCon, but that was before I really was streaming. I got invited by, that, and that was in like 2013, 2014. I got invited. We lived in Arizona at the time, and um, someone from my my guild actually was like, "Hey, you guys aren't too far away from BlizzCon. Are you going?" And I was like, "No, I don't think so. Can't really afford it." And he's like, "What if I paid?" I was like, "What do you mean?" He's like. What if I bought tickets for you and her name was her ID was different back then, but you and your wife and I pay for you to come out. And I pay for you to stay and go to BlizzCon with me. And I was like, are you serious? Like, you're like, yeah, absolutely. I don't want to go alone, you guys. And so we went to BlizzCon. But that's the only kind of uh, IRL sort of gaming type event I've ever been to. As a specialist doc been of use um oh oh uh i i talked to them on monday so i don't know yeah i won't know until monday i bet they're gonna have me do a sleep study though <laughs> oh yeah you remember that that hoarder alliance story yeah maybe i will do some, get some cocoa is that the horde alliance story yeah Oh yeah, no worries. Yeah, Monday, um, I have a video uh, doctor's appointment with a specialist finally. So, let's see how that goes. Is that set up to do those? Yeah, I think it is. Do you want to hear the, the Hoarder Alliance story for those of you that weren't here and during the last few tellings of it? So, um, I played both factions, but my primary faction at that stage uh, was Alliance, and I, I led a raiding guild, and I was the main tank, all this kind of stuff. So I go to BlizzCon, um, and it's early Thursday morning. Not even, not even waiting for the BlizzCon doors to open on Friday. Literally, we get up. It's like it's like 6 a.m. Maybe we're gonna go with him. Uh, with this this person over to the um, uh, the IHOP there. There's an IHOP really close by the convention center there in Anaheim. And we're gonna go over to IHOP, 6 a.m., something like that. And we notice there's already a group of people sitting outside the doors of BlizzCon, Thursday morning, not Friday. They're sitting out there to get their their badges, we, we figure, right? So we go over there and they see us and we go up to them and we're like, Hey, are you guys, are you guys waiting uh, for it to open up to get your badges? One of them looks at us and goes, Horde or Alliance? And we were like, what? And he looks at us again, Horde or Alliance? And I was like, we're, ju we're just, we're asking if you're getting your if you're waiting to get badges, I guess you are. And um, so th they ask, and then I'm like, well, we mainly play Alliance. And no friggin' joke, this group of like eight people sitting there all turn away from us and won't speak to us. <laughs> These, this is real life. These are real people. And it's exact. they look exactly like the kind of person you think would do that too. They would not answer us because we clicked a red button. Four years ago, I was met with a decision to click a blue or a red button. I chose red, and so now I won't talk to you. <laughs> it's so, it's so ridiculous. Neckbeards, you could definitely describe them as that as well. It was so crazy. I could not believe it. It, was, it took me a moment to even process it was really happening. When that guy looked at, looked at us, Horde or Alliance? I, we just are wondering if you're gonna get your badges. Are you are you already in line for badges? Horde or Alliance? Well, I mainly play Alliance. Good day. <laughs> it's like tribalism. 
<sighs> you are so crazy. They didn't say the good day part, but they did turn away and wouldn't talk to us. It was so, it's such one of the funniest things I've ever seen in real life. It's like, I could not believe it was real. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Uh, Mr. Demonic, thank you for the five months. Thank you, Mr. Demonic, very much appreciated. Much love, Mr. Demonic. Yeah. <laughs> Do you play Randy or Cassandra? Well, you know, I like the um, the cadence of playing against Cassandra. Good day. <laughs> Meat. Ew. Yeah, you're like waiting for them to like admit it was a joke, or they're just laughing. You know, ah, oh, just, just screwing with you. Yeah, we got. We're waiting for our badges. We've done this before. We know. We can wait now and get in there, you know, and it'll be less time spent today or something, you know? But no, they were serious. Been to RuneFest for RuneScape a couple times. You've had a lot of similar conversations. It's really eye-opening. So weird. Kevin's insane, yeah. It's very strange. Very strange. <laughs> the restaurant plays the Lions. They can't get any food, yeah. <laughs> they show up at IHOP. What can I get you guys to drink? Horde or Alliance? No, no. Uh, I'm just trying to take your drink order. Do you want... We got Pepsi products. Horde or Alliance? Well, I haven't really played in a long time, but I did try it out, and I I uh, tried out a Night Elf. They just leave IHOP. <laughs> I'm not drinking a lot. I think we might be done with the uh, research. I mean, we can just knock some more things out, but I'm thinking we convert over to scanning. We don't serve Horde here. So, we're so crazy. I still have Pepsi or just Coca-Cola. I don't know that we're gonna be making Bionics really, and we're probably not gonna be making these either. We're probably gonna be buying them. So, I might be actually done researching right now. Let's just knock on the TV in case we need another uh, entertainment forum for our leadership. I like playing nine female hunters. You know why I pulled you over? Horde or alliance? <laughs> to the cop. Uh, doesn't even know. Could sell bionics. That's an interesting idea, but um, too much wealth poured into it. I don't want to mine all that to make them, you know? Excuse me, do you know why I pulled you over? Horde or lights? <laughs> IDs? I thought about it. I don't think I'm going to use them this run. Expands. Might, this might end up biting me in the butt, but we'll see. Uh, Domingo. Domingo, thank you for the subscription. Thank you, Domingo. I appreciate it. Very much appreciate it. It's going to be a short run. It feels like it, huh? It's going to take us a while to build the ship, more so than usually or usual, because um, how little I'm actually like, mining and producing. But if you guys don't use IEDs. Yeah, I think I might actually be done. The rest, I think, will... Whoa, Dragon Mom. Dragon Mom. No, 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 Dragon Mom. So. So I just get more colonists? Yeah, it, it's kind of... Well, here's the thing. We were talking about it earlier. This really shows how population intent and population curve uh, works in these games. Because what... Um, we're at that level where the game doesn't give you very many colonists, but ideology has made us a little bit more um, expectant of more colonists because in ideology, I usually take a bunch of um, festivals that have a chance to give us colonists, and this time it didn't. Yeah, this is just normal research speed. Imagine if I had had the 150%. So 
this is about where the game usually tries to put you in the teens with colonists. Oh, sorry, Jerry, Mom. But rituals, yeah, pretty much break it. When you have six rituals that you can use, you know, every... Whoa, whoa. Yeah, six rituals you can use every season. Possibly bring in, you know, up to six people a season. It gets... Um, get a lot of people pretty quick. It's pretty crazy. All right, now we can go on another uh, trade run. We're going to need some uranium. Uh, I think I'm going to start trying to just scan for materials, though. So I'll probably make a deep drill before we run out of materials, so at least we have the deep drill. And then I'm going to put our material into ground penetrating scanner and hopefully get some good scans going. Um, in the meanwhile, we'll trade for the other stuff that we that we need. Research and gifts to humanity. Good guy would finish it all for the greater good. We can't share research. Or I would. You are the bookman. That's what we could give you colonists. Yeah, so there's you can actually choose what your festivals do. So when you make your ideology, you can have up to six festivals, and you can have them have a 50% chance to give a auto-join. Uh, the awesome thing about the auto-join is they're already your ideology as well. So really good. You can do, um, what is it? Farm animals join. You can have colonists join. Goodwill to a, uh, a neighbor, Psy Focus Gain Replenishment, or Discover an Ancient Complex. I think those are the five that you can choose. Um, and so you could put all six of them as joint events, which I do pretty often. And it's it's really crazy. You get so many colonists, and then you can sacrifice colonists that you don't want to make the game uh, attack you with less raid points. It's, it's really, really strong. A party! Right, let's get this turn back on. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get any more of this. I think I'll trade for helmets. I'll work on making the ship. I mean, I could just knock out IEDs just to have them. Like, an uh, EMP ID would possibly be pretty handy. It's going to take, like, no time to get it either. It's just to be able to have it. Start playing ideology, digging it. Uh, it helps. Yeah, yeah. So make sure. Um, so when you add your, when you're editing your ideology in the beginning, you can click add, add additional festivals. You can choose the kind, but then you can click on each individual one, click edit. You can change them from being scheduled to being able to use anytime. Um, you can change the name of them, change what the reward is. And the joint event one is very strong. I will never forget Sacrifice Mule 3. All right. We also still have to make one more ally. Probably try to make more than that while we're doing this. That can be something that we're working on while we're getting our expansion going here. I think I'm going to put these extra beds. Let's see, we got three. What a party. Look at that. They're having so much fun walking around in a circle. What a great party. Excellent. Excellent party. Do you know post it in our channel? It's on the major. Having a lot of fun doodling listening to stream. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, I, I don't mind what it is. It could be a stick figure with a stick figure horse, I guess. But uh, I'll check it out. Yeah, thank you. Oh, you're not able to post in there yet? You can always either post a link to it or if you wait, I or if there's a mod on, they can give you... By default, join the Discord, you can't post things because we have bots that come in and we'll post 
lots of nasty images and stuff, so it's just a precaution thing. Most parties are like that, to be fair, just with the addition of alcohol. <laughs> that's, that's very true, yeah. Got a, got a point there. Well, patience won't kill you. What a mess this space is. It's funny how alcohol gets cultural acceptance. I know alcohol and caffeine to different to different extents, obviously, but. Yep. Mm. Uh, let's wait on those actually. I'll mark those spots, but <clears throat> what's happening to the captured raiders? Are they getting released, converted? Uh, we keep them in there. We'll try to convert them by, you know, making them a better person while we're talking or while we're healing them. And then at full health, we let them go or we recruit them depending on who they are and if we want them. Can't hit, tolerate caffeine. It hurts you. Whoa, cat just like moonwalked away from ants. I'm pretty sure. All right, so I'm also gonna make a pile here. We're gonna make a dump zone um, that hauling animals can get to. And we are gonna put this to critical and we're gonna go steel slag chunk. And there should be some of those nearby. Yeah, there we go. Set those to haul. Okay. Rosia. And I think... Uh, we're going to tear down some of these and work on some more research. Or uh, some more scanning instead. Let's spread these out. One goes, I don't want them both to go. Live on, on coffee. Shaman merchant. Just hop that fence. All right, shaman. I, I need to start trading with Shizubaba. Maybe get, I wonder if that will give him any experience. I don't, I don't actually know if it will. I could set him up. Um, yeah, that's what I should have done. I should have set him on wardening. That would have that would have been handy. Alright. Uh let's see what they have to trade. That's a pretty nasty place you guys are hanging out in. Wow, the the drugs are growing closer and closer to us. We're not allowed to uh tap drugs and The game just keeps spawning Ambrosia closer and closer and closer. Um, oh, we need the Plasteel, so. Could just go ahead and sell the animals while they're here, though. We'll do that. Okay. And then I might buy this and go start trying to buy stuff for the ship. Um... Maybe. Maybe. Alright, what's the impressiveness in this room now? Yeah, it's back up to 120. Nice. So we can get it to stay there, I think, by moving that. Install there. And we'll go get rid of some more of this junk. I gotta decide if I wanna mine that silver. We mine it, we need to get out of here like right away. Right away. And let's get another one of these. 
Uh, we'll do this one. I don't know if I like that spot. Is there an overhead mountain there? Maybe we can put it in this little pocket. Holy crap. <laughs> they really like going and getting, getting mining jobs done. There's nothing else to do. There we go. Is that going to screw with our power? It, it absolutely is. But... Um, I'm gonna go ahead and destroy this one and we'll turn these two off. And then we're gonna go out on a trading run. Hopefully that will allow us to scan, um, for some materials that we need to build a ship that is close by. But we mainly need to trade for advanced components. That's the one. I also want to make them myself, which I kind of don't want to do this run. But also uh, uh, turn off the smelter if we really need to. Which it looks like we probably do. Yeah, so we need it. Alright. Uh, she's the bot. It's time to go again. Ooh. Got 2,800 rice. Alright. Um, we also still need some uranium. God, I think I'm going to mine this really quick. Scary, scary. It's a lot of wealth there. Should be able to knock it out pretty quickly, though. I had a Persona Core. Um, we can pay for the location, but yeah, I don't... We're going to actually have to go get it, so hopefully it spawns pretty close by. Hopefully it's not a huge threat defending it, you know? Sometimes you get really lucky and there's like barely anything there defending it. Other times there's a bunch of pirates and uh, might lose some people. Yeah. Hello, catch stream. Curious if you've ever seen 5% extreme desert. Seems rough. Uh, I might actually be doing that for too long. I, I was talking about earlier. So it's been a long time. Uh, I haven't done extreme desert since 500% existed. Usually extreme weather maps like that and sea ice and, you know, all that kind of stuff are kind of boring to watch in, I think, in their entirety, right? Because uh, the beginnings are pretty small and pretty, usually all the same. But here pretty soon, I'm going to be doing a run, I was talking about earlier, where usually I, I use a lot of cheese in the game, but there's a lot of exploits I don't use. There's a lot of exploits and a lot of crazy cheese in this game that exists that I don't use. I tell people about them. I usually don't do it myself. So I'm actually thinking about doing a super cheesy run where I literally try to use every cheese and exploit in the game and uh, show you what it's like. <laughs> and I'll compensate by choosing some like a hard map and hard ideologies like, you know, nudist, blind nudist in the desert or something. So maybe I'll try that one as part of it, you know? But, uh, yeah, I haven't done one of those in a really long time. No! Cat! <laughs> you tinned cat. Can you just preach health on a pet? Maybe. I don't know. Is, is he considered our ideology? I would help anyone named Blue Beaver with anything. <laughs> Sounds funny, like cheese. Yeah, it's super cheesy run. Target must be a human. Cat's more human than you'll ever be. I think they're probably gonna be fine. Probably.
guy or an evil guy in that other world where you we use our legs to walk and needs to eat and sleep. Try and be a good person as much as I can. Definitely not evil. Despite that clip earlier about how to hide a body. Pain's Virtue, Blind Sight, Cannibal, Nudism run. I'm, I'm definitely thinking Pain is Virtue, Nudist, maybe Blind. I'm not sure about the fourth yet. I haven't decided on that one. I even thought about transhumanist. I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure yet. That's right, I'm not. I knew about that clip you sent them. Hey hey! No, no, what? I was just trying to invite people to the stream. Alright, Shiz, let's go on that uh that journey. How much food do we have? 2700 Alright, so we can send you to go trade for some advanced components. And some lungs if you ever freaking have them. The ostriches are going to keep around. Hot hole, of course, gets to come. Um, 75 Kim fuel. We'll sell that. Oh, we got some more Devil Strand, too, which is excellent. 300 Devil Strand. That should get us some uranium, too, I think. Finally get those Molotovs out of there. All right, take that silver with us. I think we have more silver that we can't even put in our storage right now. Uh, and then we're going to sell a bunch of rice. Bunch of rice. There we go. That looks good. Should be able to bring quite a bit back. Maybe I should get a second horse to haul more per, per trip now that we're getting up there. All right. Body purists in the swamp jungle. So fun. In your lungs now. Always wear a dusk mask and cleaning pellet stove. You never turn. It's because somebody forgot your mask. Oh, God. You hope the next horse's name is just as epic? You can only hope. Only hope. Hey, look. Hair one is living their best life. Um, Yeah, we'll keep an eye on them. Royal Tribute Collector. Nice hair, Mazus. We got the hive, the beehive going on there. That's so silly watching him put all that in his pocket. Normally, I can't carry 1,700 rice. But when I have a horse with me, I can put it all in my pocket, no problem. Somehow. I like the sound of them, like, lassoing the animals where they go. Wow, this time only the horse. Mining camp with 1200 steel. It's just 1700 grains, not that much. <laughs> Alright, she's Bob on his way. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly the appreciated. The Beach Motel. Hey. Beats Motel. Uh, thank you for the resub. Welcome back. Three months. Thank you, Beats. Much appreciated. Might be enough for the ship. I don't know. Yeah. Need some more plasteel too. We are. We have three people now doing uh, mineral scanning. So hopefully that's done. I um, I'm gonna go ahead and make the drill. I mentioned that earlier. That way, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna use it yet. That way we have it, so I don't actually use too many resources and won't be able to make a new drill sort of thing. So we'll make it and then we'll just uh, disable it. Um, just throw it over here somewhere. It should be pretty safe. Growing chocolate? Yeah, I am. <laughs> Someone's a fan of the office. I think most people probably are, yeah. Beats. Bears. And baby carrots. Tacos. Okay, it's dead. It's time to take a nap. Enjoy your nap. Thank you for the lurk.
What's your uh, being here? You've never seen chocolate. Good guys make chocolate. <laughs> it's this run. You know, I mean, I've caravan more times on this run than I have in probably the last 3,000 hours of Rim World combined. No joke. <laughs> uh, I guess if you don't count all the caravaning in the 20 year run. All right. I've caravan more in this run in the last two years or something. It's easy. Just always crit and always dodge. Simple. Oh, I didn't mean to take the heavy SMG. Whoops. That is. Thank you, Wayne. Appreciate the advice. Um. So I haven't restocked, so no lung. Uh, we're going to need some uranium. Uranium, uranium. Uh, and advanced components are more important, so... You actually get six advanced components right now. Hey, everybody, my name's Cletus. Oh, they're all coming. Anybody want some cornbread? Uh, thank you <laughs> for that. All right. Making caravans is fun. I cannot believe we've only gotten ambushed once. It's actually kind of... Um... Does Arid Shrubland have low? Some places have lower chance of ambush. I wonder if Arid Shrubland is one of them. But we've only been ambushed once. I want some calm bread. I can go for some too. Go with that chili my wife's making. Two time you're no chicken champ right here. It tells you visibility on a caravan. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you. So when you're setting up a. Uh, caravan. The visibility stats up here. You notice one person, 20%. More people you add, the higher the visibility, the higher chance of getting attacked. So apparently one person, one animal is pretty pretty good. We just scanned underground uranium. Oh, it's up there though. So... Jimmy. Jimmy, hey. <laughs> Why are you being mean? No. I've never seen her do that. Jimmy's being mean to Aries. I'm watching you. Wow, that was rude. I've never seen her do that. I wonder what's going on. I'm watching you. Aries is in her, uh, yeah, they've never fought before, but Aries is in her, the place that she likes to sleep most, and he's asleep, and Jimmy went over there and laid down, and then reached up and just bit him on the back. Bad kitty. Karate chopped cat like an animal specialist. It's on her leg hair, clearly. Build a pew, but it doesn't work with the altar. Uh, it's, I don't know that it's considered a bug, but how you have to do it, I'll show you. You see that line? You see how the line to the altar doesn't connect until it's back here? So what you have to do to make sure it always counts is you have to make sure it's behind the altar and still connected to this. So it can be way back here or whatever, but if you have it here, it doesn't count. So you have to make sure it's like out in this area. I ran into that quite a bit too. Boredom. Hmm. You'll end up putting a... Still only, I should probably split the schedule. Maybe I'll do that. Oh, did they end up getting married? Those other guys. Also should have made a uh, another table by now, but I suppose I'll do that too. <gasps> it 
It's a Christmas miracle. It's weird, yeah. So luckily, pews, you can minify them, so you can move them. So if they're in the wrong spot, you can just move them further back. But your dog's chewing the other's ear. Appears to be fine with it, though. <laughs> Blood in there. Wayne's chatty. Time for a new run. Mechanoid cluster with alpha animals had things Someone did not expect. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Three silly little doodles. Jizz, you have a favorite? It's awesome. I'm excited to check them out. I'll do that at the end of stream along with that uh, uh, Steam gift that someone sent. Another potent quotable. Two potent quotables in one day. All right. The next three quotes will be red as granny. Uh, I think we can just remove all the plans now, right? Yeah, there we go. That's fine. Scan Plasteel. Oh, welcome back. Too far away. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Biscuit seven. Ooh, there we go. Now we're getting some scans. Oh, that was pretty close too. That one's pretty close. Uh, I could flip their schedules. I think I'm going to do it. That way we can have these going more often. Uh, thank you, Biscuit. All right, Aspen. Speaking of uh, swing shift schedules. My granny worked a swing shift and told me never to do it. Her three reasons were these. What are you doing? Are you eating the tails? Hey, look, it's growing. My wife is looking at photos of you milking me. Sometimes you get good grannies. Swing shift is awful. Oh my god. Um, so the summer between high school and college, I got hired on to a factory in in Tennessee. It's near Chattanooga. It's a factory, and they made some kind of ceramic parts. I don't even know what it was. They were like gears or something. I I don't even remember. But some kind of ceramic parts, and they. Uh, had these huge kilns in this giant metal building and it was like 130 degrees in there all day long. On top of that, we had swing shift. And what swing shift was there is you worked two weeks from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Two weeks from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And then you immediately, you have your two days off. Sometimes you get four in a row. They would, they would switch it that way. And then you'd immediately go from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. And you had to switch a full 12 hours every two weeks. Uh, I quit two and a half weeks in and decided that I didn't want to work in factories. <laughs> I appreciate people that do. And then I went to college. <laughs> a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. I remember the job with the swing shift, so glad to take it. It was, yeah, no friggin' way. Really crazy. So friggin' hot in there. 12 hour shifts. Two weeks, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., then two weeks, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., and then you flip back. Oh, which link? Thank you. 
Yeah, thank you, uh, Candy. If, if you do, so that page is updated, but I have been working on my website. It's going a little bit slow right now, but if you go to my website, uh, there is a drop down for support and that page is live and working, but I forgot to change the uh, link on the bot. So I think, yeah, thank you for the notes. By the way, Aspen, I will get it fixed. That's why, yeah. That's why. She did work there like three weeks. And like, nope, not for me. Yeah. <laughs> she have four twelves and three days off. Did you also do the swing part? Trash bag factory. Go to college. No, works at factory. <laughs> well, I want to go to college. Four twelves. Three twelves. Yeah, it was rough. It was rough. Mainly though, I don't like. No one can work at one hundred percent that whole time. Having to switch your entire sleep schedule every two weeks, just I don't know. It's okay. You're too old now to be going at work. Three. Work for a marketing agency? How many offer our services? No. Six tins at the moment. Yeah. Long shifts are one thing. Crappy job conditions were one thing. But yeah, the, the whole changing shift every two weeks to the complete opposite sleeping schedule was it's god awful. Five eight seven twelves is from day to night shift. About two months. Four. It's a lot of swing shift workers. All right. Uh, let's make sure that we get the couples in the same schedule. Oh, they did end up getting married. I missed the ceremony. Um. Oh, never mind. That's bad. He's dead. She's dead. Yeah. Never mind. So Shizma Bob and uh What? Ice T is Dragon Bomb's father? Who knew? I don't know my colonist. So Shizma Bob and Ice T need to be on the same schedule. Okay. Alright, so we can do that. And then how do I want to split this? Um, we'll do anything for the first five. One, two, three, four, five. Then we'll do three and four. One, two, three, four, five, three and four. That should be okay. Put a few people on that. That should help out a little bit with the whole re, uh, well, searching for, not really research anymore, searching for materials. So 6 30 a.m. to 30 p.m. Monday through Friday, work from home. It's amazing. Do you, the name of colonist thing to be added to the queue? Do you give the name or does it just use a Twitch name? It just uses the Twitch name, yeah, for that one. The animal one, you can put in a name, but choose your hours, save. The light work for my schedule. <laughs> it's got Mystic Mouse. So yeah, when you when you do the redemption, uh, it just uses your Twitch name, unless it's your redeeming an animal, in which case you could get to type in what you want. So. Oh, I didn't think about it. <laughs> Look at what Cat's doing. <laughs> Holy crap! We gotta zone that thrombo out of those trees. <laughs> Cat, our entire industry. He just ate like 20 trees. Rather face 20 centipedes head on with LMGs or charge lances. No MPBs, 20 colonists, no animal companions. Charge lance. If I remember right, charge lance still outranges centipedes slightly. So I could at least kite them in shifts. 
but I would choose Charge Lance there, there I'm pretty sure. It'd be, it'd be pretty, pretty difficult, especially with no pause, but he's a hungry boy. <laughs> man, oh man. Cat. I saw that we were missing some trees, and I was like, man, we already harvested chocolate? Surely not. Well, Cat harvested some chocolates. No, that's, that's probably what the relationship on the road would probably be like, honestly. Probably so. Wow, look at that. Crazy. Uh, next one, we need six more advanced components. So we're gonna need some plastic, uranium, advanced components, steel. Really like to go out and mine some, but uh, wait on scanners and we'll trade as we as we get stuff to trade. Better than all the Devil Strand, yeah, that's true. What these freaking guys out here? Scan golds, really far away. Uh, steel is not really safe either. Only dying to virtue. Yeah, I've noticed that too. Can we scan something close. It's that in the back. That's the starting of the ship. That's the ship reactor. So, starting to build the ship. Scan Jade. We could actually get that if we wanted, but I don't think I'm going to. Don't think I will. Yeah, now we're scanning some stuff, all right. And I can even do one more of these. We still have someone idle on some of the shifts. We have the power now too. Uh, I just need a little bit more steel. It's probably gonna be worth it, as crazy as it is to be spinning these when we're trying to get them, but uh, it'll be worth it. All right, we gotta get a little bit more steel for that. Um, could let the doggos go haul some stuff. Um, God, actual mineable steel is all near the edge of the map. that meteor i mean i can just dig over there and get it but those channels or scan really that's really weird um it might be set that way because they have to be set as both so that someone didn't like sub and could post stuff but it should be fixed now but yeah if you want to you can post that in the um in the suggestion channel but well, i thought all of that was fixed happy squirrel welcome in uh, another big map problem, yeah. Scanners are really <sighs> troublesome on these big maps as well. Well, we do have more rice we can trade already. So we can send shiz out and uh, bring back steel. Man, I just if we just get a good scan nearby, like one vein of steel somewhere nearby and we're good. All right, she's on the road again with you. I'm uh, gonna take pothole with you, of course. Saw that camel while you're gone. Um. Yeah, let's go and get that devil strand sold to you. Uh, and we'll have you take bit of rice. Anything else? Mm. I think that should be good. Alright, she is. 
is I should really hang on to a melee weapon next time one drops. I'll give it to you. You can make jetpacks. That's true. But. Eh. We would first have to get um, the tag print and research it and then get the materials and make it. We'll probably end up scanning something before then. Or we'll just keep buying with shiz here. Hopefully finish the ship, maybe tomorrow. All right, shiz is on their way again. Look at them traveling across that. Even no road. Man, if I had settled down here, if I'd, look at this. If I had settled along that road, we would be able to get to all these settlements so quickly. They're everywhere. Everywhere. Hmm. Caravan's already there. Jeez. Looks like half a day or less. All right, sell them the camel that tried to attack us. All that rice. All the devil strand. And bring home. Um, we already got all the advanced components from them. They haven't restocked since then. So we'll just bring home some steel. That should be good for now. We only have one horse. Or why the M button isn't in this screen? That would be nice. The uh, the max button. Um, all right, that should be good. Good enough for this trip. Want anything else while we're here? on back home to the jump packs because you have pause of going to cataphracts focusing on the higher level of armor it it's really a lot of it is play style so what i found is that uh depending on quality uh flak vest and you know duster flak vest button down shirts is better than recon armor and and it's so much lower in wealth and it's so much easier to make and accessible that a lot of times I will just stick on that armor and then I will only use like, um, or whatever the best helmet is. So I'll use like cataphract helmet still, but I won't use cataphract armor because it is way better defensively, but it also slows them down. Uh, it's also a lot more wealth. So, but once you're at like raid cap, that doesn't really matter at all. You just have cataphract and have people with bionic legs or whatever. Um, so no, I, I think it's absolutely fine to have this kind of armor set up with like jump packs or whatever your your choice of um utility slot item is They're way so much faster yeah yeah jump packs are really good not just for melee um we talk about them a lot on the channel for like melee puns closing gaps melee locking people getting away but uh they're just all around good items yeah really good escape items what's planned for the boomalope to graze on that is dandelions it used to be even better for grazing, but in 1.3, they changed how plant growth like that works. Uh, I think it was 1.3. But before 1.3, you could plant dandelions and animals could immediately graze on them. So sometimes I would have a like a pasture basically of animals and I'd have just like four squares of dandelions and someone would just go keep planting them every day and the animals would just eat it as it was being planted, which was pretty awesome. Now they have to grow to 10% before the animal can graze. So if you're going to do it off dandelions, you need more per animal than you used to. Um, but it's a zero wealth way to feed grazing animals if you don't have a good natural place for them to graze. Still no lungs being offered. We don't have any money, so. No money. Can't really chill run last day and a half 
Messed stop planting hay grass and taking forever to grow. Yeah, I mean, you can plant hay grass in there too and they can graze on it as it grows and you harvest the, the extra. But um, it does take a lot of dandelions to keep dandelion fed. Phoenix armor, I think it's best in slot, helps a lot against mech breach, especially on flat map. It has slightly less defense than the counter, its direct counterpart, but yeah. Those are really good. Like I said, it's a play style type thing. If you're fine with the extra wealth on your type of playthrough, um, and the slow, slow down of those kind of armors, then absolutely, they're really good, so. Are they worth having? Are they just okay? Like the Grenadier and Phoenix one? Like, like I was just saying, yeah, it's personal preference sort of thing. They're, the defensive capabilities of them are better, but it does slow your pawn down. And then the Phoenix and Grenadier specifically have slightly lower defensive stats than their normal counterpart, but then they have the ex that extra bonus to them, so. Oh, I didn't realize we still had them uh, forced on a lot of those things. Hmm. Yeah, it, so Phoenix is um, fire resistant and it also can, you know, has the flame cannon or whatever. So. Kill the thrombo. We can't kill any of those. We can't kill animals. Not in this run. I was also going out and getting still slag right now, which is pretty awesome. Oh man. Still none super close. But keep scanning. Gonna have four now. Yeah, we can't uh we can't kill any of these animals in this run. Uh I wonder how long until Christmas tree festival. Should probably just go ahead and make one. I don't use the wood elsewhere. That's right. Who would do that? I'm going to leave these just in case I do decide to research anything. If we get like tech prints or something. But. Otherwise. Chill. Chill and wait for the scans to come in. I could start trading something other than rice, but... In effect, I mean, I am already, but all right, what is this? Twenty seven huskies. Play to a 33rd birthday party. Agree that they should stop by 25. Car insurance goes down. <laughs> stop having, stop counting birthdays or stop having birthday parties. Let you control an animal like a pawn would be awesome. That would be real awesome. I wonder if there's a mod like that. Send the thrombo to kill all the dogs. No. The parties? Nah. Right at how much power we need. You're screwed, Jen. <laughs> All right, well, we got another layer of defense for a little bit. Got that going for us. Once we have another Devil's Strand Harvest come in, I will, uh, I'll change the clothing. I didn't realize I still had them forced from forever ago. I mean, they're happy even with the Tattered. Tattered Apparel does give a mood debuff, but it works the same amount or the same uh, as if it's at 100%. Same thing with weapons. So, like, if you get a legendary charge rifle... What are you doing, Emu? It's not a good place to go. Man. If you get a legendary charge rifle, you could actually, like, leave it out, damage it until it's lower in HP, lower durability, and it vastly reduces the raid points that it adds its wealth, but it works the same. It the same damage. <laughs> it's a 
brave emu. This husky should be hauling. That's right. I agree. You know all the slag they could be bringing in right now. Should help a little bit. All right, Huskies. Just a blur of dogs. I still kind of wish we'd have a breach over here so I can see exactly where they're wanting to come through. Let's set something up for it. No, I didn't mean right now. Okay. A tremendous structure. 39 days to complete. It's your reward. 27 goodwill. Trigger happy. Too smart. Look at all his passions. It's crazy. Crazy amount of passions. Uh, can we pack some more growth in up here somewhere? Like anything. Who's that? Uh, attack the darkness. Nine months. Nine months. Crazy. Uh, thank you, darkness. Very much appreciated. Much love to darkness. Thank you. Scan underground golds. So this is going to take forever to grow, but whatever. I don't want to scan underground golds, especially not across the friggin' map. Back in the basement. <laughs> All my power comes from a synergy of thermal. Uh, no, we have 800 from two power cells, and we have a thousand from the ship reactor. So the ship reactor actually gives out power, uh, and then these, like I said, these give 400 each. So that's four different individual sources, three different types. Uh, toxic fallout for 17 days. Luckily, we don't have to take it. It's not a yellow one. So it doesn't go against our ideology. Friendly might not be your ARCs. How come slag refers to metal chunks? And also to frivolous women? Uh, you'll have to Google that one. Have to Google that one. You ever heard that reference? I don't think it's common in the U.S., uh, they say it a couple times, like in Dishonored, for instance. I don't think it's a very common thing. Yeah. UK slang, specifically. Guess we'll go trade some more rice. I think I'm going to expand the double strand, though. Are we gonna be here for that long? Have a thrombo? I knew it was a 4.6% chance to tame him. <laughs> and it, it worked. England isn't real. The Witcher taught you winching. Man, can we get a scan closer? That's all, uh, that's all we're waiting on. Closer scans. I mean, and uh, the killer dog's outside our door. You know, but that's, uh, that's not as big of a deal. They're heading out. Combat supplier. Oh, you guys got here at a very fortunate time for you. Just like a couple minutes ago, you'd be dead. Well, I mean, we'd have to try to save you, I guess. We got an emu. Finish all your research. Yeah, all the research that I need or want to do. I'm leaving those there just in case we get tech prints that I uh, I would like to get instead. But 
Yeah, it's pretty much done. God, I hate that they're setting up here now. God. All right, we'll be right out. Combat supplier, we don't really have anything to trade them anyway. Hang on. Like, we really don't have anything. So. All right, yep. Don't worry about it. Leave them there. Jade. Steel. Still not close. Uh. Steel. Oh, God. Change where they go. You took care of your ancient danger. Now all your traders go there. Stabbing your base. No, not without a mod. There are mods for it. Oh. Is that a close one? Steel! Nice. Not without mods, unfortunately. Finally, scan some steel at the base. Now it's time to get some dug too deep infestations. How long until we get our first one? <laughs> Throw the steel into these things. Keep on scanning. What are you on components? I think we... 24, okay. So, I think I'm going to let them go ahead and make this as well. Some of that. Might also make a second drill. What's learn is worth it. Can you get tugged too deep with bugs turned off? Genuine question. I don't actually know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. If you turn the faction off, I would guess not, but I, I don't know. Did we get dug too deep during the Argo Nexus run? How do you make your colonists multitask? Um, so, the way that I play, and we're actually going to have a guide about schedules and, uh, and you know, work priorities and things coming out at some point. But the way that I play, I value mood uh, through schedule and work higher than, like, uh, efficiency. So how I usually set this up, it reads from left to right, so it'll go from left to right and do all the ones and left to right and do all the twos and so on all the way to, to four. So what I generally do is I put um, the very important stuff for life, you know, uh, doctoring, cooking, uh, building to an extent. I'll put that as a one on the people that are good at it. And then I'll go back through and I'll do the twos and the threes. I also like to put cleaning and hauling up higher than a lot of people do on almost everyone. Uh, it's an easy way, especially with a barracks set up, to keep mood high. Just keep those things like that. And then I put everyone um, on four for research. And if I see someone idle, especially early game, I'll just make another research bench or make another thing that they can use research. So in that way, I, I keep them busy. Uh, we had a lot of idle time this game just because I was sitting and waiting for some things. But keep them busy and it's getting things that is that's going to help us that it's not actually adding wealth at that time. Um, and I just make sure they're zoned for those areas and all that good stuff. So, we didn't... Okay, thank you. Yeah, I didn't remember. It's been a long time since we did the Arcanex one. So, I'm Bard. Thank you for the host. Thank you, Bard. Much appreciated. I think I will finally make one of these. Reason you don't put your doctors on a patient of two so that they doctor before they go lay down. I micromanage doctoring in general. So one of the things I, I do in general is I have everyone on, um, you know, medical tend, but no medicine. And then I, ha I usually have everyone off bed rest as well. And I'll put them on specifically when needed. So that's just something I choose to micromanage is all. 
For now, I'm just leaving it on bed rest because we don't have... It's not as dire that I micromanage it, so... At all? Keep losing your wood and your burn box? <laughs> yeah, that's something I had to get used to as well. Hey, ball good ship. Nice. Oh, I didn't remember that those guys weren't that good at social. Holy crap, no one's good at social, really. <laughs> How do you make colonists do multiple things, like when you click on them? Oh, like that? Uh, hold shift. You hold shift to queue things up. Have idle colonists and have them generating useless wealth. Always saw idleness as mismanagement on your part. And it, it just depends on the time of the run and things. Like early game, I mean, it's not a lot of wealth through down a research bench, you know? Like the normal research benches, but... Again, don't have to play that way. It's just personal preference. But have done that in this run quite a bit. All right, advanced opponents. Good stuff. Uh, I'm going to need a little bit of gold, too. Not yet. Uh, we don't even have the... Uh, computer core thing yet uh all right we'll do that and then when that store restocks we'll go over there and uh 4.7 days we'll go over there and get their advanced opponents she used to love animals of course they don't know how to talk to people <laughs> let's go on edwards welcome in back and watching some sports ball Big win for the sports ball, woo! <laughs> Always forget to ask when... Oh yeah, yeah, no worries. It's, uh, you just hold shift between jobs, um, to queue them up. You can also do that when people are drafted to make them walk a certain way. Like, instead of clicking someone, like, here and you... And there's some danger over here you don't want them to go through, you can... You can set waypoints by holding shift. That includes doing jobs. <laughs> Shaman merchant. Lots of merchants all of a sudden. Might sell them some of our uh, herbal medicine. Now that we're going to overproduce it a little bit as well. Trading. Yeah, I don't think trading actually gives social experience, unfortunately. I'm sure there's got to be a mod for that one. Surely, surely. Alright. One of your sidecasters has a word of joy, a word of love, a word of serenity, and a word of inspiration. He's a night owl. It's also interesting. It does. I don't know. I don't think it's weighted, but that does seem to happen quite a bit where they'll get like all the skip moves or they'll get, you know, all the word moves. Yeah. Maybe it's just because we usually get so many side casts throughout our playthroughs that we notice it when it happens. But should be like one XP for 100 silver or something like that. Yeah, it'd be really nice. It would have helped in this run quite a bit. Wait a bit. Oh no. Refugees. Wait, that's a good thing. Maybe. We have to accept them either way. Uh, how many? Only four, okay. Alright, we have to accept this regardless because of our ideology. And, uh, you know, our play style for this run. Okay, let's check these ones out. Oh god, what is your ideology? Oh. Oh, that's actually awesome. Pain is virtue. We can actually have them sleep outside and they won't care. Within reason. They'll, they'll like it. <laughs> um, yeah, alright. Then let's go through your jobs here. Firefighting, patienting. 
bed rest, basic. Let's go ahead and put you on clean and haul, and we'll go through and figure the rest out. All right, um, mining. I would like to have you guys go help mining. Ooh, look at that. Dog is good at mining. Way to go, dog. Way to go. Look at you. Vaughn. Okay, there's only one good at mining. The rest can help haul, though. What about growing? To help grow another here. Uh, the rest is fine. If the rest idles some, that's all right. Excellent. Bad news is they get a tattler out there. I have to try to save them. But, you know, hopefully that doesn't happen. Okay, refugees. Be good. Greedy for impressive bedroom. Oh. Come on. Sanguine, that's nice at least. Hey, no knives here. Pressing laborers. Four colonists. Um fourteen days now. Nah. Guys, gonna try to convert them. Spread the good word. Uh, it'll probably happen naturally a bit while they're here. I'm not gonna put our um, conversion on cooldown though. However, there is a festival we can do to uh, help mood. So let's go ahead and bring them in for now. Have the join in. Batman two. Oh yeah, I forgot. If they if they want to join, we have to allow them to do so. Let's take a look at that. Sanguine Nimble, 56 years old. Don't really want them to join. They have some good stuff going about them, but greedy pyromaniac, careful shooter. I don't like any of those. Good at mining. Chemical fascination, undergrounder, quick sleeper. I don't know what to do about chemical fascination. I guess we just accept them as well, but we're not allowed to do drugs, so that one's not one we want. Sickly Brawler. We don't want any of these. Uh... No, we're not allowed to banish anyone. No. Too bad I can't send the four refugees on that quest. I know. That's what I was thinking. Luckily, they have uh, Pain is Virtue, so they, they don't mind sleeping outside. They actually like it. So that works out pretty well for us. I didn't have a lot of wood for a long time, so. Pain is. <laughs> there we go. Pretty strong accent, wherever that was from. Seems like the least catastrophic join, yeah. At least they would be happy. So. Let's see fellow five-year-olds plan to wait some more before launching we're working on it now yeah i don't know once i build the ship are we gonna wait or not and i'm not i haven't 100 decided on that yet you know what i just sold a lot of rice and now there's these guys here oh, are any of them good with animals let's see uh yeah we have one that's Pretty good at anals. Set them on there. The elephants are still here, so. Right, looks good. So rather than just make careful shooters, they need snipers to, or force them to use SMGs. I don't know. A careful shooter in most situations is going to be a damage loss just in general. Because it takes so long for them to shoot. Um, I haven't tried making a careful shooter have shooting specialists see if it compensates enough that would be an inter interesting thing to check but just baseline i usually just let them fight that's normal one second am 
my daughter left the uh, left the door open, so Zoe was out there meowing at me. Old age could proc more passions like and health issues. Yeah, I wonder if there's a mod for that. That'd be pretty cool. I do like the idea of people gaining traits and passions based on things that they do uh, in the game. Like, even if it's a small percent chance, like someone's you put them on, uh, you know, planting. They're terrible at it. After a while, they're like, you know what? I kind of like this. I'm, I'm getting, I should really like this. <laughs> they start having a passion for it. That'd be awesome. It's gotta be a mod like that. Trappy was shooting socials accurate enough. Our modest fellowship yeah. expands. Praise the sub. That's true. Uh, LBJ. LBJ, thank you for the tier one. Uh, thank you for the subscription. I don't know why I clarified tier one. I guess that's because that's what it alerts me as. Subscribe to tier one. Uh, thank you for the support. Much appreciated. Much love to LBJ fan. There is a mod for that. Balanced by like sacrifice skill for passion, so you have to work back up or something. Man, it's so far away. Heat stroke. That's the downside of letting them sleep outside. Hey, you're supposed to be over here mining. It's not what I had in mind. There's always a mod for that. It's a mod that lets your pawns gain passions after leveling. You can tell it what the chance of getting passions for leveling up is. That's pretty cool, yeah. I like that. Let's go on Boone. Silly idea. You jazz, welcome in. But, yeah, I... Careful shooter, I just... I don't know. The warm-up time is, is so high or careful shooter and then they're not guaranteed like if they were guaranteed to hit might be a different story but having that warm-up time and then when they miss feels really bad right but yeah i don't know i just don't like it yeah like good good for hunting i guess but certain situations in general as like an all-around sort of fight at the kill box sort of person it really sucks So we mainly need advanced components. Plasteel, uranium. Hopefully we get some scans closer. Better hunter, worse soldier. Yeah. Yep, yep. So next Devil Strand Harvest will fix the clothes situation. Hopefully these guys tame these animal or uh, elephants while they're here specifically. Oh, Shiz and Ice Team are getting married. Looks like we're going to need that double bed, finally. What do you know? And we're going to do that uh, celebration thing, too. Raid. Oh, God. I think some people are out. Oh, they're right here. You better get here. Is that a breach raid? That's breach. We get to see what breach does from this side. They don't, they're not coming through up there. Excellent. All right. Are they actually going to come into the uh, kill box though? Getting cat. They're not all melee, right? Okay. Some of them are, though.
right, well, that's uh, good to know how that works. We have some people that we got to try to save. I forgot I had them drop their knives. I was like, I'm going to put them there for melee in case them there in the case they try to run over us so they can melee lock them, but um, did not work out as planned. Oh, there's another one down there we gotta try to, uh, try to save. What's this one? Wrong person. God, I kind of hope they don't survive because we don't have food for this. But we gotta try. Some really good guys. All right, that one can actually be brought in. Okay. How's this one? Okay. All right. Uh, put in the front because they they had melee weapons. I forgot I had them take off their knives, so I was gonna put them there to block the holes if the melee units tried to overrun so they could melee fight so they came with knives but i forgot i had them drop them you have multiple infestation spots or do they always come from the same spot you, you can have multiple yep well it depends on what you mean on a single event they all spawn from a from a point so you can't have like an infestation single infestation event and have them spawn at the same time on different parts of the map but you can't have multiple infestations on your map at different spots um if that makes sense so depending on what you mean. Between sandbags and barricades, the difference between them is just the material. That's it. Same cover. The material changes the uh, HP that they have. Oh man, we're uh, we only have limestone. that fixed I get a bunch of metal xp yeah i do yep that is true i do not like corpses you get that done Uh, we can also have this pull up some chunks right now. Let's see what chunks are right there. Okay. All right. Couples, they ruin the mood. the optimum relationship settings current run had unlimited spouses it's a complete nightmare the good news is they changed it to work a little bit better so if you have people in a love cluster as long as you have the beds pushed up against each other the room doesn't count as a barracks and they won't get the slip alone debuff they still won't get like the loving buff or whatever like that got loving but just make a room for them and push the beds together 
And as long as they're the only only members of the love cluster sleeping there, it won't count as a barracks, even with multiple beds. So that should help. Mags will always have the same HP. Barricades will have different HP depending on materials. So it's just, just about materials, yep. Fast, that's kind of nice. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah, it was just changed, yeah, a couple months ago. So it wasn't like that when Ideology first came out. They've since updated it. All right, what kind of, uh, that's marble chunks. Let's see if there's, I'll look for granite here. I mean, I, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. Granite chunk, there we go. Masterwork, I don't know about that, Master Stool. Get chunks from stones that are not listed on the map spot, select screen. Not on your current map. You can caravan them in if you really want to, but no, otherwise you can't. Can't assign colonists to multiple beds that yeah and there there are mods for uh of course there's always there are mods for um like polygamy type giant beds multiple partners all right let's see who we got here tough but slow learner an infection is the same person yeah all right they're already on it gourmand too smart Steadfast, psychically hypersensitive. Pyromaniac, asexual. Tough slow learner, that's unfortunate. Look at you. God, without slow learner, this would be an amazing pawn. Slow learner is so bad though. Oh, that really sucks. That would be really nice, good crafting specialist for sure. All right, we got these guys healed up out of here. <laughs> Love sometimes people really don't like each other. It's been like two years trying to get two pawns together. It's, it's kept getting rebuff, rebuff times 10. Rebuff's another one of those I think stacks way too high, like getting insulted. It's crazy. My husband died. It's a minus 20, but someone insulted my leg hair seven times. And now I'm having a friggin' breakdown. Minus 35 or whatever. Um, did they drop any other melee item? Alright. I'll have you grab a spear and some. And stuff. Okay, that's all repaired, but we need to hold that door open again. Can you go do that, please. Good news is these visitors like being in pain, so. Pain is virtue. What's the barracks right now? Oh, that needs cleaned up. Gotta get things replanted. Okay. All right. Seeing a raider come with a master legendary weapon? Um, I don't think so. I'm not sure they can in the base game. Beautiful royal who just gets together with everybody. Make one royal impressive bedroom for everyone. It's a good idea. All right. I think uh, we'll wait until we have a little bit of granite in reserve. 
have like a literal harem yeah it's going chaos winch welcome back Pain is virtue, so they like, like being there, but they also don't. <laughs> is there an undergrounder? The gay pawn, convincing on gay pawn, is your relationship? Uh, I don't think so, not without a mod, not that I know of. It's going rep here, welcome in. Yeah, I'm actually supposed to be getting off here now, but I'm trying to get some more stuff done before we wrap things up. Peaceful Solutions. <laughs> Combat supplier named Peaceful Solutions. It's pretty good. Haven't seen that before. Good name. It's usually all about lubrication. This and that lubricant. No, not this time. They're not fooling anyone. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Still a great one, yeah. The perfect comment. They had to change their name. It's like Bloodthirsty Lubricants. And then they they're 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 told, uh there's this colony, they don't believe uh really in violence, only in self defense. And uh they're probably not gonna buy anything for anyone, anyone named anything similar to what we have. Tell them our names Peaceful Solutions. You got called extreme lubr lubricants or exotic lubricants one time. <laughs> so many, so many like that. Sad wonder. That's not a good place to be underground. Sadly, I gotta tell you. Zerk! Hey! Okay, it's over. Well, I keep saying I want to do that festival, but... Someone breaks down. People hurt. So, after they're over there, sad wandering, then we'll finally do the festival. The one dresser thing again. So... Basically, if you have an excellent either wood or metal bed, excellent wood or metal beds or higher, then you only need one source of comfort attached to that bed to hit the cap on it. So a single dresser hooked up to excellent beds will get the cap on comfort. Um, so there's no reason to have both like I usually do if all your beds are excellent or better. Um, and again, wood or steel, since those ones have the same uh, like comfort stats and stuff like that. Just it's, it's pretty nice. It just allowed us to really cram more in here this time. Underground gold, still far away. I don't know if we're gonna get through this tomorrow or not. Depends, I suppose. Uh, I think we're good on the granite, so we're gonna go ahead and turn those off. Feet fetish free colony, yeah, first time in a long time. Although they do get, well, <laughs> I did have them feet to feet for a while, so their feet could mingle. Oh, I need to assign the married couple. That's right. Um, Shizma Bob. And Ice Team. Ice Tea and Shizbob. And it's kind of crazy because Shiz is like almost never here. Maybe that's why their relationship is working so well. <laughs> they like each other, but not that much. Shiz is always on the road, and that is fine with Ice Tea. 
be touching? Am I? That's right. Can't make opponents and advanced opponents? You can, yeah. Um, I was saying that we probably... We probably wouldn't because I'd have to get all the materials and have them laying around and stuff, but we've been trading to do it. And earlier I was like, I wonder if we could trade for everything we need to build the ship. So far we have, but it is tempting. We do get the research done. That's what I usually do. My runs, I get the fabrication bench down and I do it. But I'm kind of curious if we can finish it this way. Junior old storage for Fiance last night. Do you need justice, you're afraid? You have to show them the the uh, highlight of it. I'm going to highlight it off and I'll put it up and you can show them the video. Maybe that'll... <laughs> so do they look at you like you were crazy? Or do they look at you like I'm crazy? Probably. Okay, that one's fully healed so we can release them. And after all these uh, leave, we might not get attacked by them anymore. Might be enough to... Uh... Hmm. Uh, maybe not. Be pretty close, but not quite. You watch the streamer who peed on a first grader? <laughs> Honey, isn't it time you left for a few weeks? Don't you have some trading to go do? Scan steel, another one that we can't quite get to very easily. More steel. Another one in the mountain, of course. I still need to see if this is an ancient danger down here. Boy, that could really help us. Um, in fact, let's have this guy. He's already out here. This could be an ancient danger. It's no idea. Nope. Unless it's popped up before and I didn't notice, but I, I don't think so. Oh well. I guess they're in the mountains. Just not having a trading inspiration. Look at you. Another conversion. Nice. This one's fully healed. We can release them. This one as well. Yeah, we mainly need advanced opponents. Um, wow, G Dog, same forever. All right, thirty-three more plastic to throw in there. Hmm. I should have kept the other boobalopes. Kim Fuel is actually selling for a decent amount. Uh, all right, I'll give you a freaking TV. They don't want to. Scan Jade. Yeah, we don't really have much trade until this comes in. I mean, we've been trading rice. I could turn rice into something else. Could turn rice into chem fuel, but no drugs. I also, I mean, I could do art. It's dangerous. We don't have anyone that's good at art. But uh, we could do it with Dragon Mom. She's out of one. Altar of Good Disrespected. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's do this festival. Only 85%. Oh well. We're not betray us during this. We're nice unless we're defending ourselves. Ducks joined. Nice. Okay. Um... Is there a way to do this all at once? Don't 
think so. I don't think so. Uh, all right. So this trick, they'll go home on their own. How'd you get a stab scar there, duck? You got stabbed, that's how. Without having to have someone run out here and do this. And we'll just turn that off after they get back home. Okay. What? <laughs> Forgot we had the guests coming out here. So it would have mattered. All right, well. But they are coming closer either way. I could actually let the ducks multiply. Mm. Hey, go get the rest of those ducks. Twice. I'm adding a bill to all the ducks. <laughs> Don't they have enough bills? Could let them multiply. They do breed pretty fast. Ducks aren't worth a whole lot. Mm. Maybe. If you start leaving already, they weren't here very long at all. I didn't like our festival, I guess. All right, let's do another one. Now that they're gone. Like fire supposed eggs are worth. Yeah, it's it's pretty good overall. It's uh not quite as good as chicken eggs. Chicken eggs are still a little bit better than duck eggs, or since 1.3 they are. But uh, it's pretty good, yeah. And you can you know kill the extras and get meat from that as well if you're doing a normal playthrough. Well, how much of that steel do we get? We got quite a bit of it actually, so that's good. Scan some components or uh, plastic, or rather. We need to go get advanced components. Selling them for slaughter? No, we're selling them as pets. These people are, uh, you know, we're definitely keeping them forever. They're they're forever pets. So, at first, Trisha, which I see today, are you rapping? Hey, enemy now neutral. There we go. They want to attack somewhere. Uh, at first, I started reading that for whatever reason as d to the theme of Darkwing Duck. Thrumbos! We're going to get a chance at more Thrumbos. That would be enough to get us some, uh, some advanced components. Oh, what? Raid. Seventeen. Oh man. Three decent sized groups. Okay. God, I can't believe they're gonna be up here. That sucks. Six new pets. That would that would be awesome. Hey, no. Run, anarchist. Run. There or not. <sighs> mm. I only have one barrel left. We can save them for goodwill, yeah. I think we're gonna get caught out by these ones if we do it. These ones down here is a real problem. This is probably gonna miss. Hmm. 
was fit with the line I said earlier. It's too long to get it out. The second verse made it mix in. <laughs> it gave up after one. One. They're already attacking. And so dangerous going and doing that, but gotta try. Guys, yeah, all right. Ice team stabbed in the head, but it looks to be. Fine, otherwise. Uh, our Thrumbo is a outstanding, not a meat shield. So, actually, earlier, we actually beat a pirate raid because of the Thrumbo. Um, helping us. Oh, God. Smith! Can't believe we're going to save you. Look at that. Jeez. Uh, Thrumbo. Go back to animal. These ones, I'm gonna have you guys help haul those bodies. Okay. Right, those are saved. Yayo. Okay. She's above. What? Drop him in the pin? He's a friend, yeah. Body Pierce, Undergrounder, Gourmand. Tough Undergrounder. Look at all those passions. Artist. Well, think about it. You are a maybe. So, uh, Dorna, Dorna is a maybe, maybe, maybe. All right, there you go, she's Bob. Thanks, thanks. We're all dead. Yayo is here. Always 
sure about that. Cannot do hauling. He is in the process of hauling a bow. Oh, he's, he's not signed to hauling? Oh, right, I changed that. So he's just doing opportunistic hauling. So he was trying to haul crap from all over the map. That's right. I had him out uh, dealing with animals. That's right, Natsu's got this. Should probably fix this. They're trying to get cover behind us. So, yeah, I should fix it. Um, yeah, that should work, I think. No one closed that back there. It's going Luna, welcome in. Disease infection. Infection on the donkey. It's his name. Another infection on donkey again. All right. Or a donkey will save you. Converting them before releasing them. If they're converted by the time uh, they're fully healed, we we try to, but we don't always convert them all the way. We talk to them about being good while they're here. Corpses are cleaned up. No, one left. Trade with Busto. Okay. What do you want, Busto? 510 human leather. <laughs> Where was this? What? Two res serums for 510 human leather? Where was this during all the last playthrough? All the playthroughs before. I could not find a resurrection mech serum. I was swimming in human leather. That's Wood and that's Alf right there for the previous run. Randy is a super troll. Uh, 5k would be a problem now. It wants me to betray yeah, all of our beliefs. So last, uh, when we were fighting against Igor, we had two people die. Two people die, and I searched for res serum, couldn't find one. And now we're being offered two res serum for just 500 human leather. We had thousands of human leather in that playthrough. From other cell, immoral, it probably is. Testing our good guy resolve. <laughs> yeah, it's probably a little immoral, yeah. Well. Oh well. Oh well. Alright, how do I want to do this to make sure they're not trying that anymore? I think this might be part of the problem too. We're trying to get there. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure how I want to do it. Uh, too bad I built that incinerator right there. Uh, let's reinstall this up here. Reinstall this one. For a few reuse. Oh, fallen comrades, life vessels. <laughs> Just read that at first.
life vessels. All right, we'll enclose that a little bit. Can't believe that. 500 human leather for two res serums. You know, it's weird. That's also not the first time we've been offered res serum for something small during this playthrough. And I wonder if having the reward preferences off, that third reward is not just an extra reward. It maybe, I don't know, splits it differently. Who knows? But maybe I'll, uh, I'll screw around with that on our next playthroughs as well. All right, we'll see if this helps. Hold them open until raids are here. RNG's RNG, but it's kind of crazy that, like, you know, the last, like, I don't even know, 1,500 hours, I've had one quest for one res serum, and then I don't change that option, and this one I have, like, three or four offered to me for, like, cheap in a very short playthrough. Of course, that still is within the realm of RNG, but still, it's just crazy. Crazy, crazy. Down to right. Let's get some more granite. It's been working or do we know? I I don't know because we had a breach raid come and they did come down here and come through the front. They did not try to come through this. They didn't try to come through here. They did come down and go in the front, um, but Reeve was testing on their playthrough and said it wasn't working for them. So I don't know. <laughs> you got, yeah, I'll check out the clips too. What is your guys' ideology? Flesh purity, pain is virtue, supremacist. All right, the Devil Strand is finally coming in. So we're gonna go in here and I'm gonna select anything. I'm gonna set this to 51 and normal or better. And we're probably gonna have some people get naked. But I might force them to wear the helmets again if they take them off. I think we're going to send Shizmoab out. Oh, another benefit, I guess, is it made this into a room. So that's good. Also means I want to keep that cleaned. So we can actually destroy the shelf to have that as a... Uh, Stockpile spot instead. That's fine. It's not a big deal. Okay. Medical emergency. Oh, donkey. How you doing, donkey? I forgot. No, you're fine. You are winning this fight against the, dis the infection, not disease. That'll help a little bit. I uh, might want to make another dead wire to those ones, though. Yeah, we'll do that. Make one here, and we'll make one here. Get rid of that one. 
Um, is that gonna reach all of them? Yeah, it would. All right, we'll let them make that too. Seems good. We'll extend that pin up this way a little bit. Is that good? Should just have someone go eat that meal. Who's uh not super happy right now? Yeah, they started taking off helmets. I gotta stop them from that. Uh, you wear that one. Poor quality one, maybe. Maybe we don't. We don't care if that one's worn or not. Uh, we can make a couple more now. Okay. I think that's good on granite for a moment. Having the doors done. Then we'll put that back on steel. I might just destroy some of this. It's not like taking these wood bows and stuff is going to do... Uh, very much at all. Like, it's not going to give us much money. It's not going to give us much rent. So. Uh, a new subscriber. Come, steal yourself. We are Basically. building an army. Basically, they really the two gift subs to pros and to Miracle Gus. Five months. Uh, thank you, Biscuit. Much, much. Generous bestowal. Biscuit, they were the 200 bits and the two gift subs. Thank you, Biscuit. Yay. Thank you very much for shooting. I'm sure you know. Much love to the biscuit. Uh, let's get rid of the ranged weapons there. And let's see. Club. That should be good. All right. Turn this back on. And someone will get that stuff done. Masterworks. Oh, it's almost time for the Christmas celebration. Maybe I should grow a few cactus somewhere. Nowhere would. Uh, what kind of treasures are you guys getting? Right. All right. Exotic goods. I don't think we have much at all to sell them, but uh, they'll buy ducks. Buy ducks. Definitely need to get their advanced components. Uh, and probably their plasteel. I mean, we might scan plasteel. It's like the last thing we need. We need advanced components first. Uh, still no lung. And. Yeah, we'll go ahead and sell the ducks. Not the ostrich for some reason. And the emu. And the camels. Okay. The time has come for a medi rave. Uh, anonymous, I don't know who you are, but I will find, well, I won't find you, but I'll appreciate you. You know what? I'm going to play it again. Thank you. I don't know who it was, but I very much appreciate it. And we're going to play it again. The time has come for a medi rave. You know what? I'll play one of all of them. I have three songs. I'm going to play them. Alright, uh, let's bring this in, see. Because I flow. My wife's favorite. And this one I hardly ever hear. Tread lightly. This is Boo's domain. Yoshi! Auto mortar. High shield auto mortar. Uh, how long? 15 days. 15 days. And does this go down? 7.6 days. All right. 
All right. Love that one. Hmm. Uh, did we get those components during all that craziness? Did we get them all the way in? I don't know. There's some duck eggs, though. Those are fertilized. I can actually put those in a box and just make infinite ducks. Yeah, we got them brought in. Right now, needs a name. All right, we'll name the ostrich. Going out, Aries. Yeah, I'm coming. Let me let Aries. Let me name the ostrich. The ostrich's name is Husky Eight by Adam Vin. What a great name. Husky 8. Lighting for shooting actually need to be lighting on the pond. Uh, there's no accuracy increase or decrease from lighting anymore. Unless you're darkness. If you're the darkness meme, you get accuracy from being in the dark. But other than that, uh, accuracy on with light was removed in like beta, apparently. Or 1.0, one of those things. So, nope, the light doesn't matter. Light doesn't matter. going on not much just some some of my daily rimming oh god it's almost five uh we're gonna have to deal with this cluster tomorrow tomorrow they removed that a long time ago apparently yeah so i do need to wrap things up we got two quick things to do i'm gonna look at this uh artwork if i'm able to and then we have a quick way for you to win some channel points so if you've been saving up I'm gonna do some gambling, maybe double up on your channel points. Let's get some colonists in here. You'll be able to do that. But let me save this before anything else happens, and I'll tell you when you can watch more of this Rimworld run as well.